If you see someone attractive or that you're into, do you think about how big their meat is? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I think about that with everybody. Uh, okay, low key. Look around this room and hold Whoa. up. <laughs> so I have these random waves of loneliness where I want a girlfriend. And I have to like fight it off because it's I see it as a disease. But I woke up today half asleep and I like cupped my butt and I was like picturing my girlfriend doing it. <laughs> Let's just say you guys had a girl and she proposed to you. I would throw up on the spot and break No, up be with dead. Her. Be like, I mean, I, like, yeah, but like, bro, <laughs> yeah. what, what is you doing? Bro? Bro. Yeah, what is you doing? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Under the Influence, the most saucy podcast on the internet. Today we have special guest and a special episode. This is my host, Sahar, and I'm Esther. <laughs> Today we also have a special guest right here. What's up, guys? I'm Nick. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Nick, uh. Uh. <laughs> and we're sponsored by Nectar, Nectar Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Unique, Unique Asian, Asian flavors, flavors and no weird aftertaste. No. Oh. Now Let's available go. in Houston, Hawaii, and t Texas. And new flavors. Let's go. Houston and Texas. <laughs> we we got, do have we new got. flavors. We have mango, mystery mango, mango, and leaking elixir. <laughs> yeah, mystery mango. We'll plug this more later. Check the description. Yeah, we're yes. doing that later. Hey, what's the special episode today? Today's special episode is Guy's Secret. Secret. You guys love this so much that uh, we're doing another Question. one. Question. How, how deep is this going to get? Like Really deep. Like scary right. okay, deep. Guys, how honestly are we going to answer? I'm not going to lie. Answer, Every honestly. answer is going to be a lie for me. <laughs> okay, you know what? A lie. It has to be. You have to be honest. We were so honest in ours. Yeah, we were very honest that we got... People got disgusted at us. People were grossed up. <gasps> yeah. Oh, Brando, you're I'm scared. I'm a very convincing liar. Don't worry. All righty. Okay. Stop talking. It's my turn. All right. So we have an activity for you guys. Can we get introduced? Oh, it was, no. it was good, man. It's not your episode. I don't the guys don't care whose episode, episode you want to introduce the guys. Okay. The boys. Yo, Jeremy, you're covering the camera. On right my now. left. <laughs> All no, no, this is, this he's, is like, he's like the oh, old wait. guy that's like, is this working? <laughs> no, the way y'all are trying mic. to film, there's like a ruckus just happening yeah, here. Yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to ignore that. <laughs> on my left, we have the beautiful. And the strongest one on the podcast, Jeremy Kim. Okay. And the oldest. <laughs> hey. And? Y'all act like old is like a. Turning your neck so fast, yeah, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, hurt yourself. Yeah, y'all acting hey, like man, old is like offensive. Introduced. It's better than being a twerp. And we have <laughs> weighing in at one hundred and twenty pounds, the incredible. I haven't hit one twenty yet. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I wish. I was trying to hype you up, man. I appreciate it, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, okay. You wanted to be introduced. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> Hi, my name is Vit. Hey. Hey. I, wait, I already signed. Oh, I'm Nick. Um, I already signed in. But how much do you weigh, Nick? Huh? How much do you weigh? One sixty four. One sixty four. Meaty, meaty man. Oh yeah. Is that like normal yeah, scale? Huh? What is uh, average for I, men? Yeah. What is average for like one? On like like how tall are we talking? Like how tall? Y'all's height. What's y'all's height? What's y'all's height? Very 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 tall. Six one. Five seven to five nine. Six like ninety five. Yep. Like mm -hmm. one, like if they don't go to the gym, like one forty to one fifty is pretty average for like uh, five, shit, seven to five nine. So do I'm men want to be heavier? Is that the huh? Men want to be heavier? Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, Interesting. Oh. My name's Wu Talk because nobody wants to introduce me. So I'll just uh, <laughs> and how much you weighing in that thick boy? Uh, between one sixty five and one seventy. So okay. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go no, I'm kidding. You're. Like, you lost a lot a of weight. In that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good for you. I was closing in on one. Bring it out. Bring it out. 180? Yeah. God damn. We'll no. put the women on the scale God first. Damn. <laughs> God damn. No, that's from the alcohol? No, we're not, we're not shaving oh, yeah, them. We're just... lifting. I don't, I like oh, that. we're just we're having two different that. podcasts? Specifically. So no, we're wait, tuning into the Nick and Utah podcast. What you guys talking about? And then now we'll go back over to the Sahara and Esther podcast. Oh. What are you guys talking about? Hello. Okay. So first off, we have an activity, okay? Yay. Pretend you guys are on a dating show okay. and describe yourself in three words. Three w singular words. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Charismatic, lefty, and... It's not your turn, your turn yet, bro. Oh, wow. It was Jeremy's oh, turn. Oh, go ahead. My turn. Um, I would say... Impatient. I would say... Oh, yeah. in <laughs> 
Uh, intelligent, handsome, strong. And remember, you guys, remember what each of you guys said, okay? Intelligent, I'm, I'm handsome, not gonna remember and strong. That. Intelligent, handsome, strong. I'll write them down. Thank you, Brando. Thank you, Appreciate Brando. you, Brando. Give that man a raise. Hey, hey, imagine he's writing down just the wrong descriptions. Like, <laughs> stupid. Just, okay. just, you guys, just think about everyone's, like, um, answers. answers. Yeah. Okay. What was the second one? You want us to be handsome. legit or, like... You legit okay. it's like legit we're on a dating show you guys oh. are on a dating show and the girl's like describe yourself in three words and obviously you want to say good things about yourself but not it has to be true got it got it got it skinny <laughs> <laughs> all right <Un> underfed <laughs> i lost word, weight man. i lost weight Oh, you lost weight? You just checked. Do you want this right girl now. or not? Nah? <laughs> this girl's like underweight. Oh, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> All righty. Three words, man. Come on, hype yourself up. What, man? Funny, um, charismatic. Uh, That's my word, but whatever. <laughs> uh, there the could be two words. charismatic No, 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 men. you can't Wait, use what the did same you words. Say? We I can't said, say the same he thing? He said funny, said strong, night. handsome, and, and intelligent. Strong for my weight. Strong for my weight. Uh... Pound for pound. Pound for pound. <laughs> pound for pound, one of the best oh, fighters in the world. Funny, str what? Straight. Funny. You should say resilient. Oh, wow. This guy's going to get you laid. That's a good one. <laughs> that's that's yeah. a good one. No, that's a good one. Resilient is a good one. Um, Understanding. Uh, okay. Huh, okay. Am I allowed to use charismatic too? Or? Yeah, no, you no, can. no, 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 no. He's charismatic, witty, driven. Okay. Wait, I want to use witty. No, nope. you're not witty though. I'm not witty. Now you're witty talk. Has wit. <laughs> Also may have charisma. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say witty, but damn. Um, I will say ambitious, manipulative. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Take back Take back. Only in the right situations, like for us, you know. But, um, wait, wait, wait! I'll change your mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus. We are some myself. The girl interviewing you has left. <laughs> The show's done. She, she literally done. said, I don't like it here. And she got canceled because I don't nice. care. I didn't want you anyways. You were ugly. <laughs> oh, shit. Good vibes. Good vibes. Okay. Good vibes. Are you guys okay? That's two words. You now, can pick good or vibes. Vibe. Vibe. You can pick vibe. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Should I, should I, I don't know what I actually picked so far. Ambitious, I picked that. Yeah. yeah. Manipulative? No, 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 no. Okay. I think that's a really good one for you to use. Really? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> What's like a positive spin on manipulative? Uh, oh. Convincing. Convincing. Oh my convincing. God. Convincing. Mm. Can one of you fine gentlemen right get me but a I'm nectar? convincing you for your own yeah, good. Like Sometimes you guys don't know what's good for you. I gotta tell you what's good. <gasps> um, just anything. A that's leaking. gaslighting, yeah. y'all. That was gas. I, I'll, I'll back him up 100% though. No, yeah. I, for, I never manipulation. will manipulate somebody into doing something that's not good for them. Like You guys don't have to hype each other up. You guys don't have to do this anymore. She already left. The girl left. Where was she? The girl, oh, yeah. <laughs> the girl left. She said, F this. Hey, maybe if she and had a little what? bit more confidence and made herself known, <laughs> I would have <laughs> been serious. Okay, that was all just uh, a, a bunch of shit. I was just testing who would bring me a drink. Vit won. He oh. gets the girl. He got oh. it. Good job, Vin. Huh? Yeah, that was. Anyways, I'm you know, just you know, we were on a dating said, show. I don't, I don't want you know, anyways. we were on a dating show. We were on a dating show thing, and Vit actually told the girl that he was, <laughs> and he got voted no. out. No, 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 bro. That's no, not. Wait, said he that's that's no that's also not what happened the question was how would you describe your life using a song and i said the the logic 1-800 song and they're like why i was like i haven't had in so long i would myself as a joke and then they voted me off that's a, Dang. Right? That's a good one and hey, you keep getting voted off after a banger that's what i'm saying <laughs> they don't understand nobody understands me man <laughs> hey it's okay hey, uh, Esther, it's hard being autistic because the coasters are right there for you to use for things like that oh, could you hey slide me one too Thank you. Thank you. God. Guys, never respect my pad. <laughs> Anyways, okay, guys. You guys all heard each other's answers, right? Uh huh. Yes. That? You guys all heard each other's answers? Yes. Was any of it true? Like, Jeremy, like, think about none, everyone none else's answers. <laughs> okay. None of Jeremy's were true. Strong. This was true. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I'm not strong. True. I forgot what I said. This was. See it crumble. Kind of true. Mine was very true. If you would have left manipulative yeah, in there, other, it would have been true. Which one, Wait, which ones were what false? The, which what were the answers? Wrong? She's trying to tear us apart. No. Yes, no. Why would she do answers. that? Yours was convincing, charismatic, and ambitious. ambitious. Okay, yeah. Okay, what was mine? Wait, no. I'm going to change mine to cute, 
<laughs> Adorable. You can't, you, you can't keep changing it. Keep changing. No, your answers from before were locked in. You guys locked in your answers for real. You guys, oh. no more changing. You guys you just have to. Now. I don't remember mine. What is I it? Think, so oh no, no, yours was um. You said you, charismatic. You said <laughs> I didn't say witty. You said oh, funny. No, said witty. I said witty. funny. You said funny, charismatic, and one more. Yeah. What was the third one? Two. I thought you were right under, under understanding. Up. Understanding. Oh, and no. underfed. Oh, Resilient is hey, a strong no, word. No, no, that's, no. That's, 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 not understanding. That last one's but, a lie. But, but, but. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime a woman describes to me, I understand why. I just don't care. <laughs> The opposite of understanding. How do you guys forget your answers after I told you guys? What is this? Dumb, dumber, dumbest, dimwit? Yeah. What no. the f is this? Anyways. All right, now now we can't do this anymore because you guys can't. You guys don't. No, we can't do it anymore. Okay, who here thinks they have the highest EQ? Emotional, Emotional intelligence. intelligence. Oh. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. I'm not even going to put hey, my hand hey, up. Hey, I this think <laughs> I was always say Vin is out of there. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. How? <laughs> he was wow. Hey, 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 hey. Time out, time out. By saying I have the most, I'm going against like, you know. I don't care. Against, against who? Yeah. Against who? Against yeah. who? It's like, you know, I'm playing darts with three blind guys. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wait, but Nick didn't raise his hat. I didn't even raise my hand. Why are you coming at Vin me? Was, Vin was voted <laughs> off by popular. I don't understand why. <laughs> Sorry, you're out. It's why? You out, you're Sorry, out. who do you think has the highest EQ from them? Is it Wu Talk or Jeremy? I'm gonna put Jeremy. Mm. Cause he's old. Let me let me let me say something. Let me say something. Let me say something. Don't just don't just pick him so old. No no no. Listen. Let me let me explain. Let me explain. So. I, I think I can understand people. I just choose not to necessarily. Well, I choose no. to necessarily. You don't. No, <laughs> you don't. I do. What? what? Wait, so you have <laughs> EQ, you just pretend not to? Yes. That's the that's worst thing ever. Yeah. 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 That's Thank the you. worst. Yeah. How oh, dare oh, you? Why am I out defense, of the conversation? Jeremy. Huh? Look, man, you're out. <laughs> why? You've been, hey, man, you've been voted off the island, man. It's the lesser of four evils. Who do you think? Do you actually believe you have a high emotional intelligence? I think I'm very intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. He's like, I'm <laughs> smart and emotional. <laughs> I think I'm very high. Okay, so so I asked Sahara, who do you, d does she think mm -hmm. has the highest EQ? The thing is, if it's Jeremy, I wouldn't know because we're nemesis, nemesis. So we, I, I haven't been, but I haven't been able to see that side of you yeah. yet. But I want to know how well do you guys think you understand your emotions, and how well do you think you can like take a step back from your emotions and like look at things very logically? <laughs> logically, I think we, yeah, I think I think men are the most logical. Okay, no, no, that's okay, not that's necessarily not, what that is. Even that is not what emotional intelligence is. <laughs> All right. That just, you just got voted out for that comment, bro. Literally, you got. My voted guy out. doesn't even know what emotional intelligence. Okay, is. So said logic. <laughs> you talk you me a question. You guys didn't understand what I meant. Do you understand? <laughs> Gaslight <laughs> right now. You gaslight right now. It's crazy, what bro. The? You guys like throwing that word. How is that a gaslight when I understood what she said? So if I'm no, angry, did. right? No, no. So, so let's say let's say I feel angry right now. Right? How how strong am I able to? Be like, hey, I'm angry. <laughs> Why? Address it. Maybe understand the hey, situation. I'm That's angry. what you meant. I don't know. No. I think it's more. I think emotional intelligence is more like understanding your emotions and be able to like. Know why it's, you feel a certain way and be I able to literally like, just said that. That's why. No, that's why I'm not logic. understanding yeah. why I'm out of this conversation. Bro, I understand Vin, everything. Vin, I think it's also, you you threaten to spit at people when they bump into you, bro. <laughs> literally, you have the lowest emotional intelligence I've ever seen. I think seen. it's also being able to like you know control yourself in those emotions. Yeah, right, yeah the control you, part. You also, you, you also, I'll, I'll, I'll give it this. So. I'll give it this. Said, run that. You get triggered too quickly. That's that's. I'll give it this. He he. When he does get mad, he's able to reflect on it and be like, I'm bugging out. I'm sorry. And like, Way later, too late. No. I, I, but he's able to do it. Some people don't even do it at all. To his credit, he wears his emotions on his sleeve, True. which is also a benefit in some cases. Yeah. I, yeah. Wouldn't, I, wouldn't, no, I, still <laughs> I would never hide right. my emotions. I sit there day in, day out, late nights, alone in my crib, in the dark, fighting with my emotions every night. I know all about emotions. <laughs> <laughs> 
Every single emotion there is, I know. You guys, audience, comment name, down name below. Name 10 emotions. Who do you think <laughs> <is most> emotions <laughs> <laughs> Judging by this conversation, who do you think has the best EQ? It has to be from their first album, not their second. Okay, can I get a little bit of silence now? Oh, yes. Emotional oranges. All right. You guys, let's see how you guys respond to this scenario, okay? Wait, we didn't pick who has the winner. Who is the winner? No, we didn't care anymore. You wanted to be used to about please. <laughs> That's what I, mean, I think it's just an obvious choice. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll we'll talk comment down below who the winner is right now, quick. I've already said this. Oh. You have you're 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 voted <laughs> off too. My Go best. to the next one. Because I wasn't listening. I, I you understand. guys, I think Nick has the highest EQ, honestly. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you'd be surprised. Let's, let's be, you don't know you'd Nick be at all. you'd be very <laughs> surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I run away from my emotions. All, all of them are dumb. I mean, <laughs> did you guys hear that? Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would say Brando is the most emotionally intelligent, but he, he has no emotions, emotions in general. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's you like, can't be emotionally Brando's a robot. No it doesn't count. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so the I understand other, other people's emotions. I don't think Brando's the most emotionally intelligent. It's not even close. You guys aren't even in my league. By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have the disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. Works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text. That tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. I have a scenario. You guys are going to tell me how you will react to this, okay? So you know how these days men want girls to hit on them and like make the first move? Nope, that's no, that's Oh. Okay, so next question. <laughs> Wait, did I? You guys told no, me course, that you like. No, okay, yeah. Fuck, dude. Funny. This was the only scenario I had. You guys almost fucked me up. Yeah. Anyways, okay, so let's just say you guys had a girl, okay, and she got on one knee and proposed to you. I would throw up on the spot. And break no, be dead me. ass. Be dead I would, ass. I wouldn't like that. I'll be honest. I wouldn't like that. She's like, will you marry me and make me the happiest woman alive? No, I'd be like, not anymore. I was going to <laughs> next week. But what you just ruined Would it? that be unattractive to you? I don't know about unattractive, but it, I would want to be the one to propose. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Same here. So you would Agreed. what? Throw the rock away? No, I'd no, be. I mean, so I'd have to be like. I mean, not like yeah, but like, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is you doing, like, bro? Yeah. <laughs> what is you doing? It's at, <laughs> I'd be it's at Disneyland. Like, like, it's at Disneyland, <laughs> babe. Stop. <laughs> you do that. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I would, I would be down. I'd, I'd be down. Like, you embarrassed me today. <laughs> you guys, one I'd, at I'd a be time. Down. One at a time. Yeah. I, I'd be down. You'll be down. I'd be down. Yeah. Are you with it? Yeah, I'm yeah. definitely with it. Whoa. I would say yeah, but I'd be surprised. She okay. picks him up and she's pinned him against the wall, making out with him. I, I see no issue with that. What do we? Do? What was the issue here? <laughs> no issue. Whatever floats yeah. your boat, man. Yeah, yeah. man. You actually like if she a public place baseball game you show up on the jump. What am I gonna do? Fucking cry and tell her no? <laughs> Fuck if it was a baseball game though. Hell not, nah, bro. I'd feel like the shit. No, nah, she proposed yeah. to you, huh? She proposed to you. Yeah, why not? I would never know. It's just kind of strange, oh, you know. Quick question: Do you guys prefer? Do you guys think you would want to do it in a public area or like nah. something more private, sentimental? Private, private, private. Same. That's why I think baseball, like sports games, are so. I hate boring. that. It's like, I hate it's, that. You're, the whole reason everyone's there is not for you either. You know it's what like, I always thought about too? I, eyeballs. Like once you do that, do you just go back to watching the game, or do, you, yeah. or do you like? That's what I'm saying. It's, it's you know not what the about worst you. thing is? You know what the they worst thing is? They take you to the back room and you fornicate. That's what I was thinking too. All right. The worst thing is is when. Someone at another person's wedding proposes that to that their happened, fucking girl. Or, that happens. I, I yes, that. it happens I all. That. I think that's like the worst thing ever. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely just like, why are you trying to outshine somebody? Um, I have a question. Uh, I also heard though that for girls, you guys would like it better if like if you guys if a guy were to propose, it'd be like with flower petals like inside the comfortability of like your own home, and so that it's like mad intimate. That people that do the whole shit like outside in public, this big old like thing, like it's not. Yeah, I don't like. The it's, that's really not the move. Yeah, is this a guy secret or a girl secret? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, we actually we actually like. I actually don't like out in the open. Right. I like yeah. it secret because it's like. That means that means I have to, huh? Yeah. 
Just kidding. Just kidding. Shut up. You guys are still talking. Don't manipulate her right now. Yeah. He this asked is her question. He asked her question. <laughs> exactly. I didn't. Nobody said. I'm an ally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a feminist. <laughs> Literally, nobody said anything about you talking. No, no, continue, uh, continue. Okay, Jamie, yeah. Take notes. Why you keep telling us a shut take up? Take notes. Just continue. I think it takes like depending like you have to know the girl and stuff. Like for me, I would rather die than do it publicly. I also think you need to do it in a. It's better private because you need to be able to give her the option to say no. Because mm. publicly mm. saying no, welcome to humiliation that's gonna taunt you for the rest of your life. Yes, yes. Like I mean, imagine, I'm obviously yeah, but, but only, imagine proposing to yeah, someone yeah, who yeah, might say yeah, no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the thing. No, it happens a lot. Say yeah, but like when you do it in public, it's almost like manipulation because you're kind of making it really hard mm. for her to say no without humiliating you yes. and Loki herself. I agree. That's yeah. that's the one step missing in all this. Men will approach the parents for like approval, but you, they should have a conversation as a couple. Be like, I was are, just are about to at, say that. Are yeah. we at this stage where yeah. and then, you know, from there on, you can propose. Yeah, but, don't just be say that. but I was thinking and also my friends that I got married. Most times you talk about that yeah. topic yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like Let's multiple times it'd be hella weird to never talk about marriage with your girl and, and then pause that shit in yeah. public you're a weirdo and no, you should no, probably the, get no i'm saying down. talking about marriage is different than talking about like are we ready for this stage because people talk about marriage as soon as they get in relationships no i know but and that's not exactly ready. but most people in relationships will be like hey when do you think we should get married let's do it in like four they'll, they'll give ideas of like the timing or like you know what I'm saying like let's let's yeah let's try to get married here and then have our first kid there like after like two three years people have that conversation all the yeah. time. I think it's like a checkpoint you reach where you're like, hey, are we seeing this going into a marriage potentially? Yes. Are we seeing this? Where do we see this going? Okay. Maybe yeah. maybe yeah. people can be more open about instead of it being a surprise, it's like a celebration of a proposal. You know, yeah. y'all hear that? What was that? I don't want to say it again. Oh. What do you say? He got his balls fondled by an old guy by the river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did happen, what? but. What? No, no, no. What, what the fuck? What? He said, what? He said, he said, he said, something, he said something else that was kind of crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said I was engaged. Anymore. You were engaged? I was lying. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, my oh. God. I was like, what the hell? No more, no more lies, yeah. man. Um, I, I have a theory. About Can I share it? Yes, share your theory. Okay. I have a theory because I always hear guys talking about, and especially in like my videos, sometimes guys will comment being like, Oh my God, like, um, no, girls need to like make moves, like blah, blah, blah. Guys hate the chase. Cause I always say, I'm like, I think guys, they low key like the chase. They I'm really addicted do, to the chase. Right? I'm very open. They love the chase. Yeah, the chase is like the, the thrill, right? Literally with the chase. I can admit that. But like my comment section is always being like, guys hate the chase. I personally hate the chase. First of all, you just told on yourself. You don't have any game. Yeah, you're it's a like, loser. Well, I think guys only like the, like girls being bold and making the first move in the sense of like a hookup. Mm -hmm. Like if a girl's trying to hook up with you, I feel like guys will like the boldness because it's like, okay, that was easy. Yes. But then when it comes to like a relationship way, girls being like bold and like make the first move, it doesn't really work that well. No, 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 no. You can make it the first- ego. You can make the first move just to know, like let me know there's interest there. But then after that, there still has to be like a yeah. chase to well, it. You, have to yeah. you gotta make them chase, I'm telling you. That's a very accurate theory. If there's no chase, like, so there's no fun. you confirm that it's true? Completely confirm it's true. At least from my end, what do you oh. feel? Yes. What do you feel? What was the question? <laughs> no, no, he started off, he agreed Yeah, you agreed you. to it. So yeah. why are you asking me again? I just wanted you to verbally <laughs> confirm yeah. for the clip, man. Confuse me. <laughs> what about you? Yes, I completely agree as well. I must have failed. I did the opposite. No, that's what he said. He's like, in the hey, beginning. Hey, never, never do that again, all right? Never look at my man like <laughs> no, that no, again. No, no, no. What he's saying is we like girls to make a move if they're interested. Like the first move. Yeah, but, but then, then you got to play. You got to play the yeah, game. Yeah, and then I made the... the Just not, not making it too easy. Yeah. yeah. yeah you gotta, I, made the, I made the second move, the third move, the fourth move, the fifth move, the sixth move. <laughs> keep, keep making them. I'm going to keep ignoring you. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sahara. You have no yeah, game. You, you have no game. <laughs> I wrote it down. Okay, now we're going to get on to the I, guys. But real quick, I think that guys that are commenting that are the ones with no game that are That's frustrated. Because they can get, I'm like, you're telling on They yourself. can't even get a whiff. Also, those guys, I, they, they have a twisted view of what it's like to get girls. They yeah. think that if you're just some good looking guy, you have girls just coming up to you constantly. Or like you got double, money. You yeah, yeah, get exactly. Girls. They think, oh, I just need money and girls will just throw yeah. themselves at me. Oh, when yeah. When in reality, no matter what, how good looking you are, how much money you have, you still need game at the end of the yeah. day. 100%. Like, remember that one guy that, that, that guy that uh the, he shot the girls that rejected uh, him he wasn't a what? bad yeah he Ellie wasn't Rogers. a bad looking guy dude he was he was decent looking he was rich his i think his dad is a a famous director uh so, Elliot, so daddy's money yes yes well he was so so elliot rogers the shoot the ucsb shooter 
Oh, so dro- you don't you okay? So dude, I this. swear to God, I was walking in UCSB, Isla Vista, which is just like all these stores, whatever. I have a I have a thirty rack of Keystone in my hands, and I'm walking by College. these. Yeah, I'm walking by these cops. It's summer, so school had gotten out. There wasn't everybody there. Like graduation had just kind of ended, <clears throat> and all of a sudden. We hear they're like making fun of my beer choice, and we're just like kind of like joking around with these cops walking towards my friend's uh, house where he lives. All of a sudden, we hear pop, 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 and a lot of people shoot fireworks, but it didn't like the rhythm didn't sound like fireworks. And all of a sudden, the cops were like, "What?" And they start going towards the sound, and we hear a car. I we we hear a car a block away speeding off. And then that was the beginning of the shooting. This guy drove through IV, killed eight people or nine people. He he murked a girl, a, a girl in front of her sorority house. That was the first kill that we heard. Then he drove through that entire place, shooting Killing people up. People. Yes, oh. but he dropped the man. So here's the creepy thing about it. So he went to community college and he had a roommate. He murdered the roommate and just sat in that room for for like a week with the dead body in the room over. And he wrote this manifesto and he's on video. And he's basically like, like, you you will pay. You will all pay. You guys ignored me. Just like creepy incel video, yeah. basically saying how no girl he he got no cheeks. He he he, he only killed. He only shot at mainly girls. Crazy. It's so it. weird because yeah. how old was he? He was like twenty one. Like a like a college kid, like 20, 19, well, something no like that. No wonder girls are like you're a fucking murderer. <laughs> <and> wait, <laughs> but but <laughs> what they're saying is that entitlement, right? Because because yeah. his family, his dad was like a a. a Producer for like Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Probably just like sh- threw him money, yeah. go away, drove a nice car, you know, so like had no friends. That just made me sick. Yeah. Oh my God. But I think that like there's a lot of people in that mentality where they're like, oh, I can't get girls for X reasons. So they start going to the gym. They get money and they still can't get girls, you know, because they don't have that game aspect. And yeah. then that makes them entitled. Dude, it's not even about game. It's just being a likable person. And it's like you can do all these things. You can have all this status, but it doesn't make you any more likable. Like it's initial like maybe like interest because like, oh, how did you come across this? Right. Or if you have if you're like Jack, then it's like, oh, you must put in work at the gym. But it doesn't change the fact that you are boring and fucking hard to talk to. There's so many people that you don't, you wouldn't realize that it's like, God, you're so miserable to listen to until you talk to them. And then it's like, no wonder no one wants to talk to you, man. Mm-hmm. Facts, facts. All right, so now that you guys have given us a slight guy secret, which is, you know, boldness, how we feel about that. Let's get into the main topic of guy secrets. We are starting off with a theory that was started from the wonderful show, How I Met Your Mother by Barney Stinson. Have y'all heard of the hot crazy scale? Yes. Yeah. So I live, I live and die Re-explain. by that scale. The hot, <laughs> the hot crazy scale is basically a theory that if someone is hot enough, you can put up with a certain amount of craziness. And if they're crazy, they have to be hot enough to reach that. And you have to, it's a chart. You have to meet the middle part for that. If you're going to be crazy, you have to be really hot. If you're not that hot, you can't be that crazy. Yep. How do we feel about that? Do you guys agree? Absolutely. Yep. I'll do any. I'll put up with anything. As a geriatric well. man, I think like you, you give up on like once you experience crazy oh, to a certain wow. degree, you're like, I don't care how hot. You, well, I guess. Yeah. Just <laughs> there like we I go. Want, yeah. I just want no. I just want no. I want no crazy. Who the fuck wants crazy? I what? guess as you get older, you just don't want Once you drama. Yeah. All that drama. Obviously, as you mature and you get older and you oh, figure Wutak. out what your Wutak standards is wrong, John, please John show the visual. Hey, also, also, Wutak, put put like a <laughs> Sahara and Esther on the scale. What the fuck? You think that I yeah, yeah. No, no, just do it. Just do it. No, I'll stop it. myself. Please don't do that. You could do that. my. Oh, yeah, hold it up to the class. Well, actually, let's have Nick put Sahara and Esther on the scale. Our guest. Or the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. I, w- I don't want to cover your faces. Can I go pee? What if you don't want them yeah, to, yeah. Don't okay. tell them no. Okay? Yes or no? It's okay. Okay, look. So this is the hot, crazy scale. Can you hold it up properly? Does it pick up the camera? Is you the camera it getting so your it? Yeah. Is <laughs> okay. All right, hot, crazy scale, right? This is the line. This is the fucking, what is it? The matrix. The equilibri- that you can, yeah, yeah, equilibrium. Yeah, well, uh, the equilibrium, right? Yeah. If there's somewhere on this line, it is it the acceptable. Yeah. It's the acceptable level of hot to crazy. Um, oh. Where you want to be, though, is under the line. So this is the promised land over here where they're <laughs> deep into hot under the crazy equilibrium. <laughs> but... But this is the no fly zone where they are over the level of crazy, but uh-huh. not but not deep down the hotline. So you stay away from this, and <laughs> this is where you really want to be. But anything on this line or beneath is what ideal. If, Fair what game. Is, wouldn't this be bad too? 
this area? Yeah, this would be bad, but it was, it's like oh, they can high. It's just oh. not as this is like, you know, it's up to your standards, realistically. For me, I want to be under so here. Mm, he got it, got it, got it. This is very, hey, so yeah. Mr. Wu Talk. like a speaker voice. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wu Talk, your, your toxic ex, where would you place her? Ooh, visually? she yeah. was. Wait, the, the, the one that was. Uh, yeah, that beat him up, that swung oh, on him. The beat, you had no, no, that she, was. That was like my first girlfriend ever. Oh, uh, okay. That but swung what, on me. What about psychologist? The one that she she was like. Business. The one that. Uh, what? Oh, the, the one that. Yeah, mm, trying to ruin your business. Not try to. Let's not, let's not paint her like a psycho. Wait, Sorry, is, yeah, he's which still, one is that he still got feelings for her. I'm going to put her right here. So she was, so she was, which is why I had to leave her. Okay, she was hot, but she wasn't hot enough no, to be wait, that no, crazy. No, no, she You're was more she was crazy. She was hot and crazy, but she was definitely the craziness I couldn't handle no matter how hot she was. Uh, okay. So that's why she's okay. above the line. And that was the question we were going to. What is the craziest you can handle for how hot they are? Like if this is the I want no crazy at all. I need hey, this line. Sure this is right my actual mind. line right here. Hey, so she sure just has right to be hot and not sorry. crazy. Yeah, yeah, this is the real line actually. This is the ideal line where it's like this, right? And I want here. We talk good you, luck to ya. You are very hard to know, crazy. <laughs> Brando, were you going to say something? <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, Mike. Okay, for sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. Okay. Sit back down. So. All right. Nick, you got to put us on the crazy hot oh, yeah, scale. That's, put Sahara and Esther on the... On the here, stand up in front of the class. Yeah, just get up. Just get yeah, up. Yeah, he sat down behind it thinking he could draw on it. Wait, 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 give him a mic, give him a mic. Okay. Yes, yeah, just hold it up. All right, who do you want me to do first? Doesn't matter. Here, sit towards like, towards the edge. All right, yeah, class, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to fill you can in right him? now. Can we see him? That crazy is about to be real high. <laughs> um, This is crazy, this is hot. If I'm doing Esther, oh, I'm so sorry. If I'm doing Slide Esther. With your big strong arms. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Esther you're you're, you're loud. Hey, put me there too. What? You're you're <laughs> like you're 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 loud. And sometimes I put loud girls as crazy. Loud, never. What? Loud isn't crazy. Loud is so crazy. I put I put. Is she crazy? I put Esther like. I put Esther like over here. That's a very that's, low. That's oh, so, so you're saying she's not hot. You're saying she's not hot. She's not, not, she's not, but she's below. This is a five right here. No, no, no. But I'm assuming on the hot scale, that's a ten. You know what I'm saying? All right, put me, put me, put me, put me, put me. Audience, he just said I was a three. He just called us ugly. Hold on, put me on the, put me on like the rating. Like this is a five. Yeah, so that that point is five. No, no, no. So we're going to just let's just focus on attractiveness. It's like yeah, this is five. That's ten. This is five. Look at him pretending that he doesn't know how the scale works. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> you think that's crazy so i'm a five and i'm just below <laughs> at crazy. least you're not that crazy <laughs> all right you're not crazy no i'm lying i'm lying so look at me in your, you got we got an eraser no i just leave it there Alrighty. as a reminder no i'm just kidding no if this was a five esther i put you over and just because you get hotter doesn't mean you have to get crazier yeah. you understand how no. <laughs> yeah. i know how it works i'm guy. making sure, I'm making sure. <laughs> I put Esther over here. He taught him how to use a fucking chart. I put you over there. A, he said I'm a six oh, out of ten in you're looks. You're in the good zone. You're in the. I put okay. you over. You're in the ideal zone. The ideal he put you in the ideal zone. zone. Alrighty. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right? Sahar. Oh, I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> I'm putting. <laughs> I'm putting Sahar over here. What about me? What about me? <laughs> hey, put me on the scale. <laughs> I'm putting you here, but I'm putting you up here. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely very hot, crazy. very crazy. Yeah, very crazy. You agree? <laughs> I wouldn't go that high up to crazy. No, I would go even higher. I would. Yeah. I'm being generous. Oh, we, new we, scale. We I'm have to. We have to ruin Wu Talk's wall and put the dot right there. <laughs> right the <ceiling. laughs> hey, that was a funny clip if you got up and threw it over there. But yeah, that's that's, that's, that's my rating. Did you Wait, rate him? So was there a Did I rate? question yeah. to this? Uh, no. We just want to see like yours. what's the um what is the craziest you guys could put up with for like the hottest girl ever? I think yeah. with like, a real hot like girl, the end like of how that much line, crazy. Legit, you know? This is the point. This is the maximum. That's what this line is. Here's the thing though. Uh, wh wh the, I feel like the older you get, <laughs> no, no. Think about your think about yourself right now, like right now. What about me right now? Like, don't think about like how old you're getting. Like, think about yourself well, at the I'm moment. I'm saying right now. like two years ago, all I cared about was looks. Like, I could deal with the crazy, mm. but me now because I'm more mature and I'm older now. Can you put this back? Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> like it's uh uh. I feel like craziness is like a turnoff. So. The, the the their attract attractiveness goes down the more crazy goes up, hundred percent. So it's like X Y. Now what's crazy to you guys? Like what is? Is it? Yeah. What is crazy to you guys? I like crazy girls. You like crazy. A little girls? crazy is always fun, but crazy crazy. Is what's not um? Fun. What's worse, crazy or stupid? Stupid. Stupid. I cannot deal with a dumb girl. Hottest girl you've ever really? seen in your entire life. 
No, How did your dream you know why? Just because, just because I can get, I get annoyed. Yeah. Like I don't like the craziness. I'll be like, there's like almost like something to do there. Like it's kind of keeping things a little interesting. But like <laughs> being like kind of dumb, like I get, yeah, crazy, I get a little annoyed. Crazy is like you get annoyed, but at least I can argue and get that annoyance out of me. Yeah. I I'm not nice enough to, or I'm not mean enough to just look at a dumb girl and be like, you're really dumb. Yeah. Unless I hit like a breaking point, but and I'm being like, dumb real. is fine as long as it's not detrimental. Like I'm I thinking assume, of the, I'm thinking of like the oblivious yeah, type I, of dumb that bothers me. Yeah. Oh, that bothers okay, me. That bothers you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. a crazy girl would be worse because she could fuck your life up. Yeah, I think crazy is oh, worse. She does. I don't know. What about you? I like them crazy as a, just dumb. as a girl. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Guy crazy is scarier than girl. Guy crazy, crazy is guy, way scarier. Yeah, yeah like yeah, guy yeah, crazy is like yeah. they're pulling up to your house. Yeah. Like I mean, like when a girl does that, it's like it's crazy. But like when a guy pulls up, it's like what the fuck is about to happen? It's a little I'm scarier. It's, it's, it's more police. unpredictable. Yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. unpredictable. Guy crazy yeah. is definitely yeah. scarier. Yeah, yeah. So I think yeah. for girls, I I think I could deal with dumb a little more than I could crazy because crazy is scary. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. I would deal with dumb way over crazy. You know. Yeah. I know a lot of girls that prefer their men dumb. Oh, Maru said that. Maru mm -hmm. said that. Maru like she does? likes him dumb. No, no, Maru yep. said that she likes him dumb. Yep. In one of the episodes, yeah. What was her reasoning for saying she likes dumb? Um, I don't even know what the fuck I said. Uh, oh, because she was like, because she was like, if they're dumb, they're not gonna manipulate me or like <laughs> I get uh, play I get any that. games or any like that. Like I'll know when they're lying to me. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Does she I think see dumb people can't lie or manipulate. I don't know. Just I don't. Just bad at it. it. They're not good at it. You know, people. They'll get caught. They'll get caught. They do get caught. Yeah. For sure. Wait, what were your what was your answer? To what question? Yeah, I forgot. Wait, which question was the yeah, last? Yeah, yeah, there were so many. Oh, Damn, wait, the I one that asked was, could you handle? Oh. Would you rather them be crazy or dumb? Like, oh, which no, one the, do you the, handle the, the more? second, if the I second had question. To pick, yeah. Mm. I'd probably pick crazy over dumb. Whoa. Mm, really? Whoa. If I had to, if I had to, I don't want either. That's what no. we both. That's what we yeah. both said. Too. Oh, I'm picking dumb over crazy any day of the week. I'm the same. I'm picking dumb because it's scarier for girls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, dumb is like annoyed, like oh for real, and then crazy is like angry, like you're dead ass gonna do this right now because there's no arguing oh. with crazy. You can teach dumb 100%. crazy. There's no okay, defeating you it. Swade. You that's Swade. smart. You're welcome, Swade. Yeah. Swade. We yeah, were over there. Dumb. Yeah, for sure. Okay, now the second question is, is it true that when you're hitting it from behind, Whoa. you stare at the girl's rectum? Their butthole. The peach? I've never done such a thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and how long do you stare at it? I don't stare at it, but I don't I'll like glance at it. You like wink at it? You know, you know when you look at like clouds <laughs> in the sky? I physically cannot You know wink. when you look at clouds in the sky and you're like, oh, that looks like a bunny. That's what I'm like coming up with. You're like, oh, what's mm. that shape that it's making? Yeah. So no. yeah, is it is it yes? Yes. No. Yes. I've, I look. That's crazy. I don't stare. But that's what I'm saying. So it's a no. Imagine. That's terrifying. <laughs> you glance. And Have that's you... when I knew girls grew hair on there. That's oh. how you found out? For real? I didn't Everybody know girls does. grew hair on their ass. Everybody does. <laughs> you knew that? I knew it. Do you have sisters or siblings? I have two older sisters. <laughs> Where the sisters? Wait, not like that. 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 Bro, bro, no, 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 no. Weird. He's saying like, if you. I just meant like when you have like siblings, like sisters, like you know, like all of that weird shit. Yeah. Like all of it. I didn't. I didn't really. They talk about it. They're like, oh my god, Nick. Like I didn't. No, no, no. Like, bro, like I grew up in a household full of women. Like I had my cousin living with me, my oldest. I had my sister, my mom, my abuelita. My dad was not really home all that often, so like. I would hear them talking about the girl oh, shit a lot. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I will say, because I have a younger brother, I do like condition him. I'm like, make sure you know all these things. So oh, you can really? like, yeah. Oh, so I feel like your sister's old. Uh, she's older, yeah. yeah she's so older, I feel like when older. you have younger brothers, you're like constantly like, let me shape you so that you're not a nuisance yeah. to the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart, smart. So they're not surprised when they see Asker for the first is that, time. Is that weird to now know that every guy looks or you guys already knew that? I, mean, I already knew I already, that. I already yeah. knew that, but, but I don't think the audience, you know, some of the audience might not know. But the yeah, first time I heard sense. it, it scared me. I was like, what? What do you mean right by there. that? Do you guys ever judge it though? Yep. Like, oh, the, what the yeah. fuck? Why? No, I'm pretty sure some people do. Wait, Hygiene. What do you mean judge it? Yeah, what's it? Cause what, no, because like, like, what, are, what if she got a dingleberry? Oh, well, I would leave. I would literally yeah, walk yeah, out. If, you're judge, if it's dirty, you're judging it. You're like, why didn't she clean herself? Oh, yeah. That's gross. If you're dealing with a girl that's easily fixed, like just take a shower. But if it's like the four, I'm judge. I'm questioning. Why didn't you shower before you came uh, here? What do you Maybe think of me that you didn't shower? How old are you that you don't know how to properly wipe? I'm questioning things. Why don't you got a bidet? Yeah. 
I don't have a bidet. I don't have a bidet either. I, I'm going to get one once I'm Nasties. I go in the shower. Bidets fuck. They do fuck. Bidets Game fuck. changer. For hey, sure. uh, we're going to take a little break to plug Super Hotline. Uh, Super Recovery launching very soon. Honestly, it might be out by the time this launches. July 19th is the target date. But... Um, I don't know when this will when this episode will come out. So if it is out, the link in bio will say that it is out. The link in bio will say that it is out. But if it's not out, you can text in text UTI to the number on the screen. It's also in the description. You can just click the link and it'll text it, and uh, you'll get notified of the drop. You'll also get special offers and potentially win free bottles. So yeah. sweet. And as you can tell from this beautiful packaging design by our very own robot, robot wave to the camera. Amazing we got work. two new flavors, um, Mystical Mango, Lehing Elixir. These are out only in-store in Hawaii or online, limited supply. You get them while they last, Nectarverse.xyz. The link is popped up on the screen. And if you want to support the show, buy the products. You could get us in California, Washington, New York, Texas, and Hawaii and New Jersey. And it really helps if you go get it in-store. So, yeah, thank you, everybody. That's been drinking it and posting it. It shows that you love us. When is it coming to Canada? Never. Y'all have very difficult laws. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah <laughs> so it's hard yeah. to bring Well, this. so the government distributes alcohol in Canada. Oh, yeah. LCBO. Yeah. You can only get it in one place. Exactly. So it's very, Wait, very what? Yeah. what do you mean the government distrib you, distributes alcohol? You have alcohol. to sell to the government, and then the government but, picks whether or not you can make it into stores. It's super weird. They got Canada's backwards. They drive we, backwards. We what only recently they got- They sit in the car, and they go everywhere in reverse. Okay. <laughs> All right. Shut and up. then they just say, sorry. Wait, you only recently got what? <laughs> sorry. Um, for the longest time, you could like there's a store called LCBO, which is our like yep. liquor stores. Those are the only places you can buy alcohol, and only like maybe in the last year or two, you could start Whoa. getting like wine and beers at like grocery stores. Like you guys have alcohol everywhere. We can't get like vodka, tequila, that kind of stuff in grocery stores. Only at LCBO. Wow. That's what it's like living in a communist country. <laughs> Wait, so are there less alcoholics because of that? Because you can't get it. Yeah, and it's really yes. expensive. When I come oh, here and yes. I see y'all's alcohol prices, it's like doubled there. The countries with cheaper and more accessible alcohol always have. More or alcoholics like that Korea, is, you can get yeah. soju oh, for like a dollar anywhere, and everyone is just a raging alcoholic. Yeah. It, it's sometimes cheaper than water. Yeah. Holy. Fun fact: soju is the fastest growing, most popular alcohol yeah. in the U.S. in the world right now. Really? In the world. Wait, what brand specifically? Or Not is brand, it just, just every soju. Soju. But general is general. obviously the goat. They, they're, they're clearing like they're clearing like general? they're speeding to like billions of dollars in the U.S. alone. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Kareem's up right now. We yeah. went to a wow. fucking house party and instead of real liquor, they just had bottles of soju and everyone just had one bottle. Like, yeah, which is crazy. That yeah. party was so soju fest. Yeah. Like, that was all soju there. Yeah, I was that so gas, bro. Wait, I party? felt so sick. The, the North Star Boys ones that we went to. Oh, I wasn't real. invited to that one. Yes, you were. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now back to the show. <laughs> um, is it true that guys imagine what it's like to hook up with their girlfriends? Like friends that are girls. Huh? Wait, if wait, I'm wait, in wait. love with them, maybe. Yeah. 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 I've heard that it's like every, like guys with every single one of their friends that are girls, they will imagine what it's like to hook up with them at least once. No, no. Because I, I don't imagine a hookup with yeah. anyone. Like, unless I'm interested. You know what I mean? Yeah. Only like, if you're interested? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Like, are you saying that like no matter, like even if I'm not attracted to her, like in some shape or form, I'm thinking about her like that? That is what I've heard. No, it's no, not, no, not even, it doesn't even have to be like, like a oh, passing I'm, thought. Like, yeah, it's just yeah. like a passing thought. Only if I'm attracted. I don't have to be interested in her, like super interested. But if I find her attractive, like I think it's just that, like the second I find a human being attractive, I'm gonna think about like, yeah. So am it's I, true. Yeah. No, only, only if she's if, attractive. Only, only if, if I find her attractive. attractive. Yeah. Only if I find her attractive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. there's a standard that has to be met, and not yeah. everyone meets that standard. Reverse. Do you guys? It's the, probably the same for women no, too. No, I don't think about that. So if you like somebody, you're never like- If I like them. Exactly. Like, like so liars. if you like them and you think they're attractive- <laughs> No, no, no. I can, we can be attractive. No, but I do have imaginations. Name. Exactly. Like, like what is it like it was sleeping with that person? Yeah, and I'm like, fuck no. You know what I mean? Like I imagine a lot of things. I think a lot. So uh -huh. it's just like, I have these random scenarios and I'm just like, it's always a fuck no, but like it does. It's a passing thought. Of wait, like wait, an intrusive wait, wait. for you. It's, it's a, like yes, an intrusive. Yes, yes, it's an intrusive. You're a little. Thought. I think you're you're a little different from the standard. Just the way you view attractiveness and everything is I'm different. Not, is not normal. <laughs> I'm quirky. Like, <laughs> no, but don't you ever? For me, like, intrusive thought. I can I can think like guys are attractive without being like, oh, let me think what it would be like to hook up with them. If I like them though, absolutely. But if I don't like them, then 
I can think they're good looking without being like, hmm, what, would, what would that Even be Even if like? I don't find them attractive, like I just think so it, much it, it, that it, like it. I have these thoughts. Also, what, I'm like, what, does, yeah. what does think of hooking up with them entail? Like I got to envision the whole act <laughs> or like, I'm just like, oh, she's hot and that's it. Not even like a like hooking up with them. Or, yeah, 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 no. Oh, ah, maybe, ah, maybe, ah, maybe not even a hooking up thing. Maybe like, oh, how would it be like, hand? yeah, to, mm. you know. I think yeah. about that. Shit like that. Really? Yeah. Holding their hands? Something yeah. as innocent My, as that. Yeah, I have less. I plan out if, the whole if life. If I know them personally, <laughs> yeah, like I, it's less sexual. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh-huh. like I already have like vivid pictures of like proposals and marriage and blah, blah, blah. And then every single woman I meet, I just put their face into that. Yeah. Mm. It's like, it's exactly. like a, it's like a, like a cap cut edit. And then I, just, <laughs> I put, I put different template. pictures that's, in. That's hella true. A cap cut edit's hilarious. Because it, it is like, like, I think I just romanticized that, yeah. that thing happening period. And if I like somebody, even like, if there's like one thing I realize, like, oh, this is attractive. It's like they get plugged into the template and you just run it through and then you're like, uh, or well, like it makes you more obsessive or less obsessive. That's, yeah. I was literally about to say, that's how I, I deem if I have a crush on someone or not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If they well, fit into the template? No, no, everyone if, fits in the template. But I, when they fit into the everyone. template, I'll see which direction it goes. Either we break up or yeah. we have a long life together. And the ones that we have a long life together, then I'll pursue you. And it's, it is crazy because it's a fake template. Like it's just a made up scenario. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I got a question. life on it. <laughs> so if you, if you think about, if you see someone attractive or that you're into, do you think about how big their meat is? <laughs> wow. Be honest. Wow. Yes. Whoa! Yes, I might glance a little bit. You might just Whoa! Little, you know? Yeah, but do you movie. imagine you're like, ooh, like I want, I'm into this guy. I wonder how big. Is I'm not gonna lie. I think about that with everybody. <laughs> okay, low key. Whoa. No, I no, I, no, 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 not Whoa. even a sexual. No, not even in a sexual way. Whoa. I'm just a curious. Whoa. Okay, okay. Look around this room and hold Whoa. up. Hey. <laughs> Whoa! I don't, I, it's, how do you guys feel hearing that? It's not a sexual thing. It's literally like, you, damn, like they're talking. They're talking so big. I wonder how they're how big their dick is. Hey, but that you think the same? Let's hear so hard. What For is me, going I just on? take into account like their race, their background. Like I'm like, what is mm. the general standard there? You know what so, I mean? What are you saying about race? What are you saying about race? Wait, hold on. Is this a guy no. secret or a girl secret? No, I just think. Based on ethnicity, you know. Oh, so another word for race. Yeah, no. You you (laughs) ethnicist. (laughs) (laughs) So it's just more like a. It's just abort, 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 abort. Next question. No, no, no. But but for real, if you're attracted to someone, you'd be like, I, I wonder. Has there been someone you were attracted to where you're like, I bet he is a small meat, but I, I like him still. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. And would you say female intuition on someone's meat is accurate? Like your female. No, never. It's never accurate. She is not in yes. I I think I'm pretty. Uh, how do you, how do you know? Um, <laughs> it, you, it's oh, it like I disturbing. said. There's like the whole like you know ethnicity factor, <laughs> like vibes, like That's... height, like build. I feel like a lot of these things will kind of give you a general I'm guess. Cu- I'm curious. It's not, it's not true. Black. It's not true because I have a lot of nurse friends and they tell me like anything you think of is not true. It's all random. Yeah, I feel like yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying my radar has been fairly correct. Mm. So what are the tells? How many meats have you seen? <laughs> <laughs> What's your meat? She's percentage? like two. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Hundred percent, hundred percent correct. Hundred yeah. percent accuracy too. My so my friend who was black, he had like just an average dick, and he was like, "It's annoying every because everybody assumes. expects oh, I'm swinging see, a hammer." The one. And they and they're like, "Ooh, like this you know, is that is the benefit of being Asian because it's like the bar is low." Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. You not under hard to promise, overcome it. <laughs> overdeliver. That is true. That is true. <laughs> Why is he looking at me? With... <laughs> say what you're gonna say, man. I wasn't gonna say, say anything. I wasn't gonna say anything. Say what you trust. No, no, no. Yeah, say it's a podcast. You you I wasn't gonna say things. anything. Just say you're it. Awfully quiet. I wasn't gonna say you're anything. The one here. I wasn't gonna say anything. Who do you think is louder, normal bass? Is you bro, you, you bro. Yes. Yes. Oh, you're really loud. No, you guys are both pretty loud though. Yeah, you're, yeah. But like, I'm not louder than dude. <laughs> trying yeah, to, so trying to be wait, as quiet so, as possible. Sorry. Anyway, you're sorry, okay. I didn't mean to derail the conversation. A little junkies. Yeah. How, what yeah. are the telltale yeah. signs, Sahar? I I don't know. I just kind of do like these little like equations in my head. I'm like, okay, he's this tall, this big. Like this is his background. A lot of you know that kind of thing. Like I just yeah. kind of a lot of up. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. Okay. That's I'm gonna say something kind of wild but it's because i saw it somewhere but i don't know if we might have to cut it out but anyways someone said that the reason why some girls vagina is tighter than others is because huh 
Huh? They said that it's because like ethnicity wise, yeah. like like black men have, you know, are known to have larger dicks. So yeah. therefore the women have that makes sense. bigger like a- holes. Oh, that and then you know how the, you, yeah, that doesn't you, make sense. I'll, at all. I'll put that to rest right now. As as many jokes as we make, yeah. isn't it studies have confirmed that literally like dick size does not stretch out pussies? Yeah, yeah, it will. It will, come, it will go. It will go back. It will yeah. go muscle. But I'm pinnings. <laughs> but you know how the whole no, thing okay. with no, like every vagina is different, man. But oh, I don't think that it is by race. I will say. Think about it. It's will, more more body size and type. Yeah. Because you know and how skeletal. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but you know how there's like a thing where they're like, oh, Asian girls are tighter. It's just like. Is it because Asian women? No, it's because you know, Asian wait, women are right. smaller. Right. Or no, she's right. Hey, this has gone from a joke to, yes. to a roast. Hey, but time out. But time, Don't be outside offended. Of, it's outside just what I'm offended. Time out, but it's outside, probably of, not true. outside of race, evolution is just natural. So Evolution, yeah. Hot, like, hey, what side are you on, man? No, I'm just explaining. No. Take race. I'm fighting for our lives right hey, now. Hey, Jeremy does on that cowboy hat. Hey, take race out of it, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, but yeah, race it's like, will affect because just in general, Asian women are smaller by average than maybe women from other countries. I think it's more a body size and skeletal structure thing versus which a, happens to be geographical. Which yeah, happens exactly. To tie Certain to, groups of people are just smaller exactly. yeah, naturally, yeah, yeah. right? And it's yeah. like that's that's. I think for women at least, yeah. And just yeah. saying, I didn't say this. I saw this. Like but someone made a video about it, and I was like, okay, well. Well, that's evolution, a racist right there. Evolution takes uh, yeah, spreading I mean, your racist propaganda a, off of headlines. No, but there's, Esther's there's a point is really interesting. Really side. think about it, because if like Asian guys and like Asian girls for the most part are like intercourse, like if the men are smaller, then the girls' holes can be smaller. Doesn't who said, that make who said sense? The, who said the men were smaller? No, that's who said that? <laughs> stereotypes. Oh my god. <laughs> who said that? I didn't say that. <laughs> but Esther's point is very interesting. Let I, me know I, who said that. It's not yeah, my yeah. point. It, it's Bring him I just brought it up. I just brought I got words for him. All right, next question. Okay. You yeah. think about a compliment you just brought us down. <laughs> you think about a compliment a girl gave you all day. Depends yes. on the girl. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. Explain. And, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Like even if it's just a random girl, like someone that I'm not even attracted to, like if she says something about me that's like a compliment, I'm thinking about it all day. Would Maybe you say your love language is verbal? Words verbal. of affirmation. Verbal. Yeah, yeah. yeah, words of affirmation. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're you're the same way too. No, uh, I think I am every single love language. <laughs> no, he really is. He's very high. No, with them, yeah. What the fuck? Why would I have any less? That's crazy. It's just um, like, why would I choose to? Why would I choose only... to have only one? Yeah. <laughs> not choose, <laughs> not crazy. choose. There's certain things that you care about more. No, yeah. I think for me, it's physical touch way more than anything else. Like if I, if that's what long distance is hard because not even like sex wise, just like <laughs> not seeing somebody and not like having like. Also, it's just like energy exchange, right? So I'm always touching Nick. I'm like, you are always touching me, bro. It's, it's I just want to nah, I've been witnessing it. It's He's been, uh, always violent. touching me, man. Violent. He had his legs on top of you, yeah. arm Aww. around you. But anyways, um, I'm actually really comfy. Yeah. But they'll, but uh, someone will say something to you and all day long you're thinking about it. Are you words yeah. of affirmation then? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Is it words of affirmation? Today. That's yeah. verbal, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it? Thank you. Do, do, uh, like women compliments last longer than men's or does it matter? For sure. Any, any yeah, for sure. 100%. But bro, the, the homies be like, they say the wildest shit. It's like, bro, I would throat you right now. Like you show up in like a regular fit and they just gassing you crazy. Yeah. Women don't hand it out like as willy nilly as like your boys do. If a girl obviously. says it, it's like she means it. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, even it could be simple. Like I like your outfit today. Then I'm like, it feels good. But mm-hmm. I will say it obviously feels dramatically better coming depending on the girl. Yeah, even, even the homegirls, like if they compliment me about like anything, I'm like, okay, like I guess... This, I do, I'm looking good then You know yeah, what I'm saying Yeah, yeah. Okay. Feels like they mean it Yeah Where the mm. homies just feel like They'll slurp you for any reason Do you guys remember like The best compliment you've gotten That you still like Think about sometimes mm. Alright so clearly oh, They don't mean a, enough to y'all I feel, I feel safe around you Oh that's Safe cute. Oh. That's very cute mm. Yeah yeah, I like that one too, actually. What is this, a movie? Okay, Wutal, get your own idea. <laughs> what? Get your own idea? Question mark? I'm just agree. I'm just saying that was cool. Okay, I didn't um, say that was my idea. Was, okay. there, was, there ever, was there ever a compliment where um, it just stuck with you and you continued to do it? Like, let's just say the girl that you like was like, oh, I love your haircut. And you just kept that same haircut. Ooh. Uh, no. No? Do the rest of y'all remember your favorite compliments that you've got? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking no, about that been, question still. It's hard. But yeah, for yeah. that one, not not compliments, yes, but not specifically like a girl or a girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've said it before, but as a child, like my mom, like, 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 t- like basically telling me I'm smart made me grow up my whole life believing I'm way smarter than everyone else. And then just living life like as if I was. Yeah, and I think delicious. that played a big part in me actually doing things that like, you know what I mean? Like. 
So it was like, as a child, yes, but not really like my girlfriend being like, oh, I really like that shirt on you and now I wear it every day. Nothing like that. <laughs> every day, but yeah. she's like, I don't like it that much. <laughs> Wait, Jeremy, I compliment you all the time. She's like, the you, shirt you can't smells, think of any? take oh. it off. <laughs> please, you've worn it for three months straight, please. <laughs> you said you liked it. I wore it every time I saw you. It starts Turned to have a stench. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, you're wearing that shirt again. <laughs> <laughs> you're wearing that shirt again. My favorite shirt. <laughs> um. Um, wait, favorite compliment. Yeah, Do you guys remember compliment. a favorite compliment? Mm -hmm. Ooh, recently Sean said that he told his mom about me. That made me very. Mm. Oh, wait, that's wait not why? Why? That's why? not a girl, though. Yeah, that's not a girl. Fuck. <laughs> he was like, I've never. I just gave him a hug and I kissed him on his neck, and then he was like, "Love you." We're drunk on the party bus back, and then uh, and then he's just like, "Love you, Wu Tuck." I told my mom about you, and I was like stunned. I was like, "What? Why?" And he's like, and he just was like, "I was like, oh, I met this guy Wu Tuck. He's like my homie now, you know, like he's the smartest guy I know." And I just for some reason <laughs> he could have said he could have said to me, "You're the smartest guy I know." It wouldn't have made me blink an eye, but the fact that he was like, "I told my mom." Mm. And this is how I explained you to my mom. That shit was like, I remember that every, I wake up every morning, I'm like, I can't let Sean's mom down. Yeah. Gotta get to work. <laughs> I, I love Sean. His bar, his that's bar fucking must funny, be bro. No, that's cool. I love huh? Sean. I made a joke. It was What'd you say? Nice. I said his bar must be low. Oh. That was like a joke. No, nah, you already hurt my self-esteem. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's not a joke anymore. I have a theory, another one. Can oh, I share man. it? Share your theory. Okay. So Emily and I were talking about this the other night because we were just talking about, we're like, why do men love each other so much? Because y'all don't see the group chat. These men love each other so much. And we feel like y'all get mad at girls more than you get mad at each other. Anyways. What so, would we ever get mad whoa, at each other about? Don't say hey, anyways. Relax, don't say anyways. Um, we coming back to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're That's back a crazy to that. statement. Emily and I's theory is the reason why guys love each other so much and not they don't love girls like the same way they love each other is because guys are constantly hyping each other up and then girls don't. Don't no, well. not true. Guys obliterate each other all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's that's how. You, nah, that's because we're in a co-ed group chat. Yeah, first of all, you don't yeah. see what really goes down in male friendships. I'm not in a gonna lie. If you saw like the strictly like guy group chats, and you saw like the roasting, roasting that goes in it, you guys would then be like, oh, okay, it makes more sense. Mm -hmm. But like, no, when there's love, there's love. But yeah. when someone says something stupid oh, in the over. group chat. It is over. You can't like, show your is, face again. It is bad. Yeah, like our hometown Damn. group chat with our friends since we've known each other for so long. Like there's one guy specifically, like if he says something in the group chat, everyone just gangs up on him and it is the saddest thing in the whole world, but it makes me laugh. <laughs> Do you guys find you get annoyed with girls more than you get with guys? Um, no, I think no. what it is with guys is that like guys like can roast each other to the fucking depths of hell and mm -hmm. then also say the most heinous homoerotic shit to each other mm -hmm. and it's like at the end of the day we just it's because of those extremes can be taken and we're still good at, at all levels i feel like girls will take things more personally so you kind yeah. of like shield yourself a little bit from behaving the same way with your girlfriends yeah i mean that's why sometimes it would be like uh if i'm roasting it too much like, yeah because mm -hmm. yeah because yeah. sometimes he does treat me like a homie which is totally fine because like, yeah. i don't get offended i don't get offended yeah. but it's funny because he forgets that i'm not one of the boys yeah. sometimes yeah. and he just be roasting me yeah. you know I mean, you know what i was same. gonna text you last night do i want to know Probably not, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. Okay. I was gonna. I just took a shower at like 1 a.m. I was gonna text you. I was like, I touched myself in the shower thinking about you. <laughs> Dude, what is wrong with you, bro? I hate him, bro. What is wrong with you, bro? Does this gay ass. So hard. Imagine, imagine girls said that to each other. I, I was touching myself. Oh, that would shower. be crazy. You would take it seriously. Like, you would take it seriously. Yeah, I would be oh like, that's God. weird. But, Honestly, but, I don't. Bro. Usually, I don't take things weirdly. I'm just like, whatever. I don't really care to do. No, but weird. if my girlfriend was to do that, I'd be like. She's just like, like I just flick my I'm, clit thinking about you. It does that all the time. <laughs> like some weird I, have, I have a routine where every, mm -hmm. uh, once every two weeks, I text Nick some super homoerotic shit. And then one of these days, hopefully he'll take me seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I guess that's the difference between men oh, and women. Fuck. I know. Yeah. So it's, not, it's not like annoyed. It's just like, I think it's just like the whole fact of like, I know how like guys work to the point of like, I know what I can say and what I can't say. And sometimes with girls, like who are homegirls, I will sometimes cross that that boundary of thinking it's like one of my guy homies. And then I forget that it's like, I think that they take things a little bit more serious just because you guys are more like emotionally intelligent and you guys think about <laughs> things like, no, no, oh God, like you guys think about things a little bit more than they should be thought about. Yeah. 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 Am I right, Brando? <laughs> no, I think what it is is that. You said you're wrong. I know. I'm not saying you're, I'm not <laughs> yeah. saying you're wrong, but. I think but. it's more likely for female friends to hook up with each other because they understand each other more 
And it's, what? it's oh, female friends you hanging out with. What is this? I'm what just is saying, this if perversion. <laughs> that's why it would be taken seriously as it, with oh, men. There's no chance of that specific. Okay. There's no I chance it. of it happening. You know? I, I, see, I see very true. Very true. From. Very true. Mm. Let's hang out, Brando. <laughs> 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 you let me know when you're hanging out with your friends. Um, is it true that every guy knows what Control Shift N does? <laughs> what? Whoa, what? I'm like a laptop. Wait, control you, you, wait. shift end. Control shift delete. That, that brings up the pa- the menu where you could force quit things. No, that's not that's it. That's F four. No, 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 that's no, Alt no. F four is is yeah, canceling out. Yeah. Control, control Alt not. delete. Control Alt delete. Control wait, do you mean delete. Control Alt delete? Um, my notes say Control Shift N. <laughs> no, I think it's Control Alt delete. Yeah, yeah I don't know Control Shift video. N, but I know yeah. Control I, Alt delete. Was that? <laughs> I got this off of. <laughs> when I said that, everyone knew. Okay, everyone knew. Right, well, maybe that does something else that we oh, don't know. I know what it is. What is it? Close the window fast. It's an immediate like yeah. clo- window close, yeah. Yeah. Like but if I you guys were doing something like sus. No, no, yeah. Alt, Alt F4 closes the window immediately. No, Alt <laughs> like F4 deletes the window. Oh, you mean minimize? Yeah, minimize quick. Oh. Yeah, that's oh, I did not know what it saved Command me a Command W. Times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't know either. I didn't know how to use a computer. That's funny. Well, now you yeah. know. Okay, okay. Use it wisely. Did you, guys, did you guys know the first row is QWERTY? Huh? But he's going to say some, a joke, right? What did you just say? I'm scared. No, he didn't say a joke. He just was being dead ass. And it was just like... <laughs> QWERTY. <It was> just <laughs> <laughs> oh, no yeah, what the fuck? It was so <laughs> awkward because of that. I, it made me fucking yeah. crack up. <laughs> it was so it's called a humor. I don't Learn. Know. Oh no, that one was. All right, y'all. So when you guys are taking a leak, if you guys don't care how much noise it's gonna make, you guys shoot for the water. Oh, and if yeah. you guys, if you guys want to be extra quiet, you guys shoot for like the bowl, right? Yeah, yeah the, the side. I literally the side. just hit the side of the bowl because I'm like they're talking. I, I don't know if it's also nice of you, Jeremy. Yes. I try to. I try to design. Designs. <laughs> Design designs? Yeah. He's a water that's, that's being Happy outside, face? though. You talking about when you pee outside? Like Anywhere. on the concrete? How are you going to design the designs in the toilet? <laughs> it's, 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 it's not, it's not gonna, Yeah, what are you talking about, It's bro? not going to make a design, like, but no, he's but doing I'm, it in his head. He's doing it he's in doing his head. He's doing a latte art. He's taking his shit and then peeing through it. Oh. Oh. He's playing Fruit Question. Ninja. When you pee, is it very bubbly or not? Yeah. Yours is bubbly? I don't even know. I think so. Depends on the stream strength that day. What mine, does, mine is bubbly. not bubbly. Doesn't that mean you drink a lot of water? Does mine's, that have I, I would say mine's not bubbly either, though. <laughs> I assume that also has to do with how much fat you're burning too. Ah, uh, because oh, yeah. yeah. bubbles are made out of fat, so and you Wait, you, actually, you, you really? lose weight through sweating and through urine. Do you have your snacks? Well, because I was wondering because I I, so. I seen someone I pee in the toilet who's super Wait, bubbly, and I was like, what the fuck? Mine, mine are bubbly. Mine's mine's flat. Yeah, mine's flat. I don't have uh, I have non carbonated piss. Mine You're is carbon- also non-carbonated. Yes. Yeah. I've- <laughs> Just go get a banana, man. Can I have a banana? Okay. Well, <laughs> speaking oh, about pee pee's, hey, get me one too. No matter how hard you shake and dance, the last two drops always end up in your pants. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's a ride. You know, you want to know what the worst part is? What? Uh, going commando after you pee, because sometimes it stays in your pants and then your leg gets wet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Why do like, you go commando? Sometimes it feels good in not wearing underwear. Does that not hurt you? Because especially, let's just say nine you're jeans. jeans. Nine jeans. Like, okay, I'm nine talking about like, if okay, I'm wearing sure. sweats or like parachute oh, pants. Okay, for sure, for sure. For sure. I'll be commando sometimes. It's so uncomfortable, is it not? Having like the little freaking drips, y'all? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't like going commando. Uh-uh. I need my package secured. Do y'all wipe? Y'all don't wipe when you pee? They don't. No, that shit's unnecessary. You just shake it? That shit's unnecessary. I and know. also, it's also bad for the you environment. You one individual. It's bad square. for the environment. Just, Tip, tip. Mm-hmm. I, would, I, would I would do that. I would do that. They're so lazy. I think if I was a man, I would do that. Is yeah, that exactly. What, and and then you'd realize it wasn't necessary and you're wasting time. Mm-hmm. Maybe you want to get in your pants then. Wait a, wait a second. It's <laughs> still getting in your pants. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I wait piss on myself. If you got the ant eater, like the does the extra drip just collect underneath? Yeah, the, it catches like a balloon, oh, like, a, oh, like a rain, like, like, kind of like a rain catcher. Yeah. So then do you have to wipe? <laughs> oh, no, no, I just release it the next time I go to the bathroom. Wait, bro, are you on circumcised? Yeah. Oh, yeah? You know? No. Are they good? No. You can find what is it? Hey, lean, lean up. Though, oh, also, I heard that men catching. don't wash their hands sometimes after Ew. pee. What's wrong no, with I wash that? My hands. No, I'm not peeing on your hands. No, I'm not peeing I know, on my hands. You're still touching it. 
Yeah, if I touch my penis, I'm gonna wash my hands. It has yeah, it's, it has, it's, it's in my pants. It's, it's, you don't touch it. It's protected. You just, you just said layer. that you just said Isn't that you dribble pee into your gross. underwear every time you go to the bathroom. I didn't say that. Okay, I didn't well, say that. regardless, yeah. sometimes it happens. I just wash my hands after. You don't touch it when you're peeing. I thought you. No. Sometimes you don't, you don't, don't have to. You can pull it onto the band. Bro. So like when I go pee outside and I'm not gonna wash my hands, I make sure not to touch my penis. But yeah. Damn. I lick my fingers like I have a guy secret question. Because I, I don't know if it applies to everybody. <laughs> She's like, I want to know what, what are the, guy. Ha 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 ha. Fucking funny. Anyways, moving <laughs> forward. So, Someone's hangry. No, I'm just emotionally intelligent. I can't be phased. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So hey, what, when, when, when is the You're situation that you... You're not emotionally intelligent if you started a fight. <laughs> look, 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 this guy's so salty. <laughs> Eat your banana, man. <laughs> All right. So, when is the time that when you're gonna go pee that I you decide to? Delicious. Shut up, oh man. God, Damn me. I want to hear the question. At a certain point, I just could move forward. Uh, I'm good. Ask the question, man. I don't do this right now. Look at this. Emotionally intelligent. Go, go, go. Let me hear. Right. Let me hear. When you pee, when is, when is the situation oh. that you decide to pull down the zipper and pee through there versus? Opening up the pants. I always hold, open up my pants. Hold on. I never ever hold put on. my dick through the zipper. Who? You've put your wee wee through the zipper? With the button still buttoned. I heard that's how yeah. you're supposed to do it. That's why you have a little hole in your underwear. Bro, that would take me twice as long to do that. Why, shit. why would anyone do yeah, that? Yeah, that's the dumbest shit. Wait, I've what heard. are you guys talking Here. about? Wee wee through the zipper? Why? The Wait, peeing through what? the zipper is like it, you don't need to unbutton oh, this part. Like you I don't see, need see, to unbutton. In situations that you have a is belt and scary? it's mad annoying to unbuckle everything, nah. you pee through the zipper oh. and you put and you put your thumb on top of the zipper. That way, you any fears of that shit accidentally accidentally getting caught, it'll never get caught. That's what I do. Okay, I could see it if it's like a super like you really it's have annoying to go. ass belt, like an annoying. I, belt. I could see that situation, but oh. in any normal day circumstance, nah, just, yeah, you unbuckle and all that shit. Yeah, I've never oh. ever peed through just the zipper. Did you guys hear my joke, by the way? No. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Use your words, Vit. Moving on. Is it true men scratch their balls with a stretch and scratch technique or pinch and roll? The pinch, pinch and roll. roll. Pinch so and you guys roll. are all pinch and roll guys? Pinch and roll. Oh what, God, show us bro. the pinch and roll. That shit's great. Just kind of like. <laughs> the best know, example is with your you elbow. Grab it and then. Oh. Yeah, yeah just kind of like. like yeah, Damn. Does that actually uh, relieve the itch? Though? Pinch, yeah, roll, and roll. Uh, I like roll deep. Like, oh, I like dude, this. Dude, a deep one? Yeah. Oh, that shit will send chills through you. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all doing like shots or something? Yeah, like, it feels, it feels, it feels so good no, sometimes. I'm so passionate man. about that pinch oh, and roll. Especially if like I'm at a function and I have to go to the bathroom to to scratch. Oh, you do a function? That's great. I'll wash my hands then. But if not, I'm not washing my hands. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you will not. <laughs> How do you know that? Out of function is insane, bro. Are Sometimes, bro, it's not like itchy. Yeah. I have eczema. Hey, oh, oh, balls, that's called herpes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But nah, yeah. Sometimes I'll be doing that, and that shit feels heavenly. Amazing. It do feel great. Yeah, yeah. All righty, y'all. Um, just because you text us doesn't mean you like us. Is uh, it true? Facts, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> She said, okay. <laughs> like what? But what do you mean by yeah, like? What do you mean by like? Yeah. Like, let's. You know how like some girls, um, they might be like, oh, I think he liked. Like, they're confused. They're like, I think he oh, likes because me you're because you're texting all the time. Yeah, because like he answers when I text and stuff, and like we text often. Now we're too busy with our company to text random girls. <laughs> oh, so you like them? If you're texting them, you like what's them. Your, what's your company? Super Bonsai. Release date July nineteenth. Uh, it's eight ingredients: DHM, milk thistle. <laughs> Pretty good job. Very good job. Damn. Hey, give me some. Give me some. So like a condom for your liver. You want to be healthy? Oh. Invest into this shit. Buy it. Well, I don't know about it. Wait, you I can buy it. it. Text UTI to the number on the screen. Is this the CEO? That's the no, CEO. Not the CEO. I don't take credit for that. CFO. <laughs> CFO. <laughs> what would you what would be your what's yeah, your what's role? your title? What's your title? CFO. CFO. Let's come up with one. More friend. <laughs> Chief <laughs> friend. <laughs> I just am there when Wu Talk needs me. <laughs> Emotional support. Where did my best friend go? Oh no, you got tired of the, these questions. Well, hopefully oh. to hell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, let's bring that up when he, he comes said, back. He said, I have the most EQ. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke, man. Hey, hey, Jeremy, Jeremy, guess what he said? What's <laughs> Come sit there down. Goes, there goes Wutah again, tattletale. I, lo I love your shirt, the by the way. I'm a snitch. I love your shirt, yeah. Hey, it would look better if you cropped it a little bit. <laughs> Two inches. Or if you cut like the sleeves, that'd be nice. <laughs> You got nice arms too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, tell me what you're gonna say. I, I buttered them up. 
<laughs> I forgot what you said. So oh yeah, we we're like, where'd Jeremy go? And he's like, to hell, hopefully. <laughs> no, she said, where did my best friend go? And I said, hopefully to hell. <laughs> but I said you had nice arms, man. Why would you want that from me, man? It's called a joke. Not a joke. It's called a joke. <laughs> Jokes have to be funny, man. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Not mine. It's funny. <laughs> He's quick with the with the responses to shit like that. <laughs> All right, on to the next question. Yes, ma'am. He's like, I know what you are, but what am I? <laughs> <laughs> Same energy. I literally. Is it true guys can tell when they're being put in a situation to be tested? Tested how? Like girls will like you know be like, let me see how he like reacts to this or how he mm. responds to this. Oh. Napkin. Yeah. Do you guys know? I have a napkin. Napkin. Um, I would say not always. What sometimes. Are those Cheeto though. puffs. I never know. Don't eat into the mic. Oh, yeah. so number one comment. Um, yum, 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 yum. So, yeah. Hi, welcome back to my mukbang. Sometimes. Oh, nice catch. Sometimes. Well, sometimes. 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 I don't, like, I have I definitely have realized I'm being tested, but I can't say that I am being tested. I've, I've known every test I've ever gone through because I don't know. Agreed. So, yeah. Agreed. When you know you're being tested, do you start, like, changing your behavior to, like, match? No, I usually just call it out. Like, uh, if, if I'm in a relationship with them, I'm like, like, why are you doing this? You know what I mean? Like, and it's just, like, it's oh, so out of character. Guessing, this is annoying. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm oblivious to that shit. Like, I'm absolutely Small oblivious. EQ. Small yeah. EQ. Okay, yeah. speaking of disgusting. Uh, we weren't speaking of it, but anyways. Um, <laughs> we were thinking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, when you guys fart in your blanket... Do you guys go under it to see what kind of smell you guys produce? Never. Never. No. Come on. You know what I do? You know what I do? You know what I do? No, no, you know what I do? I open one hole by my leg and I like kick my leg to like fit it. So you never smell it like Yeah, I like I open an exhaust pipe on the other end. I don't want to smell that. Dude, I I find it weird for people that like to smell their own beef. Like it's just their own beef. Yeah. Why'd you call it beef? That was so gross. I don't know, whatever. Their smell, like that's weird. Like that, that's like your sh- what? That's your shit. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I, I don't. It, isn't I it like not shit. as disgusting because it's from coming from you? It's not as disgusting, but it, it's not like it's I'm searching not, out. It's not a pleasant smell. thing I want to smell. Yeah, I can what tell you guys you? smell your own farts. I, I'm trying yeah. to see no. your face. Girls a little fart. Quiet. Why would we do huh? that, Jeremy? That's a little disgusting. quiet. Yeah, no, we don't. We don't. It's a question. You, you pass. I could tell. Right? Thank you. Do you ever Which, smell your hair? Well, you not like your scalp all the time. <laughs> to see, like, oh, oh my fight, god, no. it's so humbling. It's a joke. It's awesome. You do, right? Well, it's a joke saying that you be fighting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know the joke. Only people in front. I know the joke. Well, you, know, you don't know the joke. I know what the joke is. I have to explain you the joke. But I'm telling you, it's us against the world. True. What the We up right now. He derailed my joke with cuteness. I can see why he gets away with things. Hey. Do guys ever try to give their pubes a fade? Wait, he didn't fucking answer. <laughs> a fade? No, yeah. no, 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 no. You smell your farts. He no. Said he, he said he doesn't already. A fade? Yeah. Do guys ever try to give their pubes a fade? I'm not that talented, but I do have, I've shaped shapes before. Shapes? Yeah, I've done what? flames. Have you ever what? Sh- you did, was it, was it nice flames? flames? It was great. Flames oh, is crazy. You said shapes or flames? Flames. I did flames. That's high level. I've done yeah. like a triangle a and tri- then I've done like an arrow. And then uh, I've done you know. hard. You guys have too much like, time on your hands, also bro. I feel like you have to grow really thick hair to be able to make like this. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gotta yeah. be like, bro. Not really. How would you feel to if the girl f- you were talking to like shaved your initial into her pubes or something? That's so hot. That's so <laughs> That'd hot. That'd be cute as fuck. Genuinely? That's, that's, that's so hot. That'd be kind of cool. That's so, so hot. So fire. All that's right. like that's like hey, the, I didn't even know that was a move yeah. that I would have enjoyed yeah. until you said it just yeah. now. That's, that's the equivalent of like when Shady. girls get their nails done and they get the the letter. Yeah, the, even more. Wait, 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 mm-hmm. real quick. Okay, it would be weird if we're having sex for the first time and I look down and it says WK. I'd be like, she whoa, like, <laughs> or you know what I mean. But like, if we're constantly, if we're like in love and you do that randomly one day, I just look what and I'm like, not in love, just like talking. Wait, wait, hold on, start. You mean that they're getting like the initials on their vagina <laughs> hairs? Wait, hold on. That's super hot. Damn, super I can't hot. do that anymore. I for like real? Laser. Matching designs in the pubes. <laughs> okay, what's the pube level y'all can handle now that we're talking about pubes? As long as it doesn't trimmed. get in my mouth. Yeah, just trimmed. You don't like a naked You don't rat? like a bush? No, I don't like a bush. I prefer bald, but like I don't mind small. I don't like... Here's the thing. No, Wutok when- wants it to be a jungle like he's an explorer with a machete just like <laughs> cutting through the forest. <laughs> 
Why are you speaking for me? He's like, we out here. <laughs> you know, like a like Dutch that. braid. <laughs> fucking <laughs> in my Lewis and Clark fucking fit. <laughs> No. Hello. Vit behind them. <laughs> it also, it depends. Are they if they're if they're shaving, it starts to get painful. Like I don't like it when they shit. Uh, you know what I mean? Like wax or out, wax or like laser. It's, it's soft when it grows out, so I can handle it up to a point. But it's razor, it's like I, it's just scratching my yeah. face and shit. Sometimes it's it'd coarse. Be like that. Yeah. Sometimes it'd be scratching me. What's the longest y'all can handle? Okay. Oh, okay. From my from my nails to from my nail tips. Oh, so like very very, very short. Nothing. Very short. Oh, Wait, see, for see, what? See. Pubes? For bushes? pubes, yeah, for girls. I don't like bushes. So you like, like it? Bushes, but I really don't care. Oh, you don't care? Okay. Mm-hmm. You what can handle bushes. Like your head hair. I actually like a girl with a bush. Like, a, like your head hair level? <laughs> yeah, bushes. I guess. Yeah, I, yeah, I not really realistic though. It's like I learned how to braid so I could braid hers. <laughs> yeah, why not? She asked me to. That'd be kind of cute. I've never done that. Don't do that. Wait, braiding your pubes? You can do that. If if it's long enough, you can do it. I'm pretty sure. And the oh, thing no. about pube hair is like, it's never straight. It's always like, like a little kinky. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mine yeah. is completely straight. Yeah. What color are blonde people's pubes? Does anyone know? Brown. We're all dark here, but brown. it's their eyebrow color, right? It's brown. Oh, is it? Like a light brown? Brown. Ah, ah. For sure, for What sure. do we consider brown? Doing? I no, thought it's always your eyebrow. Here. Is this, br- like this is. No, no, lighter than Are you, light, is light. brown? Huh? Is your hair brown? Different yeah, but I'm saying like uh, standard brown. I thought it's always your eyebrow color. Is it? Yeah. That's like these are these are technically face pubes. Mm. Eyebrows oh. are considered in the pubic in the, <laughs> pub, in the pube family. Really? Yeah. So you're saying your pubes are wispy? No, I'm saying the color. Oh, it has nothing. To, but no, you said no, face, not these the are face density. pubes. No, it's not the de- the density is not the same. Bald people, it's more like your bald armpit. people still have pubes. Pubes are different. Like if you could lose all your hair here and still grow this and still grow that. Gunshot or a firework? Firework. All righty, y'all. Okay, in, so in this neighborhood, yeah, you have to like. In my neighborhood, yeah, it might it's be like either or. Gunshot or firework. <laughs> Should we duck? Hood, by the way. <laughs> this was from our dear <laughs> friend. Um, so is it true that when you're sick, you Who's guys like friend? to hold your penis in balls? Yeah. When I'm sick? No, when yeah. I'm cold. Cold. When you're cold? Oh, yeah. I mean, cold. I, cold. I, I do that too. I woke up today, actually. and I hold your You hold your penis in balls when you're cold? Yes. No, I'm talking to her. Wait, what'd you she say? She said, I do that too. I was like, you hold your penis and balls when you fall. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Okay. Whenever I go to bed, I put my hands in my pants and I just hold it Sometimes. like to sleep. Ah. I've been I've been going through, so I have these random like waves of loneliness where I want a girlfriend and I have to like fight it off because it's I see it as a disease. But I woke up today half asleep and I only got like two hours of sleep and I like cupped my, my balls and I was like picturing my girlfriend doing it. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Hey, this do you guys, guys like it when like your girl cups your balls? Yes. Of course. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's like, like a the com- reach around. It's like, yeah, it's like a comfort. I'm thing. half asleep. I'm yeah. warm. Not even oh. in the sexual way. It's yes, like, yes. Not yeah. in not, not in the sexual way. You know what? It, it's like it's like you have that level of comfortability with someone that they feel okay enough to reach over and just yeah. do that, and you don't feel bad about it. You like, I don't know. 100%. I think that's what it's. That's what, that's it, that's what it, I was half asleep, and I was like, damn, wish and I had a girlfriend. They're warm and soft. Yeah. I'll, I'll just have to admit. 97 degrees. All right, y'all. Now, these are questions from the audience that they want you to answer, okay? Hello. So, does height matter to guys as much as it does for girls? Not as much, Not but as I much. think a little bit. A little for bit. For most guys. Yeah. What do you guys like? How how tall? I did a girl. too tall. I did a girl a couple inches taller than me. Well, okay. Was that, so was like, that ideal? Yeah, so I'm like 5'9, so I did a girl like six foot. <laughs> you didn't Did I just Russell hear someone Westbrook, say they're <laughs> Hey, but what yeah, would you yeah. too tall is six seven. If if I feel like she'd kill me in a gladiator match, I would. <laughs> Wait, too tall is six like, seven. She, so you're like fine prefer, with her being like, okay. six, like six. six five? You know what? Let's say six two is too tall. Yeah, I think six, Wait, with someone two? shorter for me is way more enjoyable. Yeah, it's, I think it's more enjoyable, but yeah. Wait, what is what I is more? I, I don't know. I would. I I, I don't want to discriminate because uh because of height. Yeah, I, no. I genuinely just do not care. Well, girls discriminate because of height. That's why. So that's why, why we're you? saying that that's y'all why, care that's more. Why, that's why yeah. men care more about people's emotions. It's, that's, not, that's, 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 it's not discrimination, but just preference. Yeah, preference, preference. It's okay, not like, well, preference. Yeah, yeah. I I'm would because no, they were saying what it's too tall, like what I wouldn't, oh. and yeah, I'm like well, yeah. I wouldn't not date a girl because she's too tall. Yeah. Okay. Too tall. But like ideal. Ideal would be a little shorter than me, like five six. Okay. Five four okay. to five six is the ideal range for me. Okay, I don't want her too short either, because like my kids, I gotta think about them. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> valid. You know, okay, valid. valid, valid, valid. 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 Like, what about you guys? One is like, oh damn, you gonna bring down the average, and it's okay, already five, five, five. Mm. High genetics are really weird, cause you know what's crazy? 
Um, my parents, they're only my dad is five six. My mom is like five five. I'm five oh. seven. My brother's six one. Oh, I don't really know yeah, how that yeah. happened, but so these well, have family that, tree. Diet yeah. matters a lot. Okay, yeah. so, um, that's the thing. I think my mom's side has a lot of big men, so it just kind of happened that way. But it was I isn't see. that weird? Yeah. Isn't that not strange? That, that's Stay normal because me. sometimes like the like uh, the woman will be short in the family, like the sister, but all her brothers are tall. Mm -hmm. Or even if they're not all tall, sometimes like you just have those genetics, but they don't manifest in the girl. And then she marries a guy that's only a little bit taller than her. And then but then you have kids that are tall. And then yeah. you, you want a lot of children. You want a lot of children. Right. And yeah. so you just mentioned we're, how we're going to start a clan. So our children will we'll just raise them near each other and. Yeah. So if mm. I ever die, you know what I'm saying? Like the clan is still there to take care of them. When I'm not taking your kids. Yeah, I'm not taking your kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I'll your take kids. your kids. What the fuck? My kids are going to be cool. Your kids are going to be preaching politics to me. <laughs> yeah. In Christianity. Yeah, my, my kids are going to teach you what's right and wrong. It's over here like, get They're good away. for you. Hey, but question. So you guys care. You're like, for my future kids, you want to help them out. Let's say you meet the love of your life, but she's like 4'11 and her family's short. Right? Uh, she's the love of my life. Yeah, she's the love of my life. She's the love of my life. doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't okay, care about okay. anything yeah. at that point. <laughs> Just say sorry to my kids. That's Wait, what about, about you, Vit and Jeremy? I'm the same with them. I don't, it's not like something that I think about where it's like, there's no discrimination. Mm. I don't think men discriminate around. Damn, so we not raising a clan, bro? <laughs> but describe the clan so, so, you guys so move clan, next it's, door. It's, it's the idea of it takes a tribe to raise a child type mentality where back at, for most of human history, everything's been kind of a group effort, right? Like you had your cousins, like everyone stayed together to raise group family dynamic. Cause we, cause we cause, were, because we used to chase our food. Yeah, well, I mean, for many reasons, even, with, even amongst farmers, you just kind of gathered your farms together rather than separate farms across the country. Yes, but so, farm, farmers took us from groups, collective living to individual family unit. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying is that individual family unit is not as strong as clan style family raising. Cause but, imagine you and your, let's say your immediate siblings, right? And like your closest friends, the people that are a family, you would never betray each other, like absolute loyalty, raising your families together, right? It's just pooled resources, pooled, pooled, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh. isn't this way, a guy's secrets episode? Yeah, hey, honestly, like it's not good hosting. Yeah, I would never, I would never do that on the girl secrets please, episode. Please, 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 please. What the fuck? Wait, what are you guys continue. even talking about? Yeah, just because you're not smart enough to keep up, don't mean Hold you got a snooze, all right? Whoa, whoa, Go play whoa, games whoa, on your phone. I have an interesting thought. Keep, keep going. Whoa. Huh? Keep going. Okay. I forgot what we were talking no. about. She no, disrespected no, 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 me. the clan. So you said obviously pulled resources. That makes no. sense, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, because right now, let's say that we, I exactly. had a kid on my like, I'm like, I got to give my kid up for an afternoon and I got nobody. Exactly. Like, exactly. Go, there's, a, there's a fucking clan. I don't trust Nick. <laughs> but it's not only it's just two families. It's like, no, I know. let's say you and your sisters, right? And everyone, like, it's usually like, like I have a brother. So me and my Bro brother would be one. If we had cousins church, we're close with. It was exactly like exactly. that. Exactly. We would all go to church and they'd dump us off. A bigger community to help with tasks. Like, especially you don't trust, like, you can't trust certain, like, hiring a nanny to watch your kids while you're trying to go out and have just you and your wife time, you know? Yeah. But, like, if you have a clan that like of your brother lives next door, boom, immediately he's going right there. You know, like these people I knew that uh, had kids, they mm -hmm. purposely searched when they had money to go buy a house. They purposely like searched neighborhoods and then like met the fa met the neighbors just yeah. to see what they're like. And they moved into like a community. And it's yep. that matters a lot, in my opinion. All right, are you awake now? Yeah, next question. Oh, oh shit. Sorry, my bad. I'm going to pull that move. I, yeah, thought, yeah, yeah. Watch, thought, watch, when hey. you're, watch when you get into a topic. This, yeah, was yeah. Tor this was totally not even like part of the topic. I'm schnoozing. So, oh, I'm schnoozing. So, so, so you guys just said, oh, it's, yeah, I know this was Nazi Germany. On, I love it when they go on, on uh, offshoots or uh, tangents. Hey, they, can, they literally cut you off every episode. That's, that's, that's yeah, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I know this was Nazi Germany. You guys have no right to say this. I know this was Nazi Germany. I should be yelling at you right now. I know. I should be Nazi twisting Germany. your nipples and like flicking them elsewhere. I know this was Nazi Germany. <laughs> Please. Anyway. Um, this next question comes from my friend Brianna. So she is in a, in a predicament, okay? She's been in, she's been on three dates with this one guy, but he won't make a single move on her, but he still texts her every day. He doesn't like her. Why? No, I think he's super nah, shy. He's shy. Like he nah, he's shy. Is he, is he that shy? Is gay. He shy. doesn't like her. No. Hey, hey, hey does, does he, uh, does he have game? Or he's yeah. kind of a shy guy? Um, I think we've concluded he does not have a risk like that. Like, he's, he's shy. Um, nah, it sounds like he's shy or nervous. But, but is he shy called? in general? 
uh to he's, like guys and girls or i think he's not like he's not like he's not super outgoing i don't okay. think but okay. she's just confused because she straight up called him out to be like why won't you kiss me and mm. he still was like what he was he say he was like uh i'm sorry if i disappointed you oh what <laughs> yeah what? but why do they text every day i'm really he's confused. just he's just shy in person Okay, girl, uh, don't. Easy, if you, it's easy no, to but text she with straight up told wall. him in his face in person, "Why don't you kiss me?" And yeah. he still said, "I'm sorry." Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. friend, no friend. She should have just kissed him. Who yeah, the fuck that's a lot asked, of pressure. Why haven't you kissed him? Now she's got to. Listen, make as a woman, we like when a man will just, you know, of course, take just do the him. just do the ninety ten. And no, no, apparently 90, he hasn't 10. really been giving her like this, like the vibe, the signal. So why is she staying? Because he's hot. But do the conversation. Do the ninety ten. You go ninety, they go ten. For a kiss. Is that? That is a thing. Yeah. No, wait, what? Can someone explain this to me? 90, 10? So, I, so you're telling her... Let's demonstrate. You're, 90. Let's demonstrate. Yeah, you so it's like... Who is, <laughs> you won't Am I going 90? You won't okay, who's going 90? You go 50, 50. You go 90. Okay. She, he's the girl. Okay, so I'm, this is the 90. This and is we're 10. sitting, we're talking. I'm like, hey, Nick, how's your day? And yeah, yeah, he but would go no, to 10 and then he would go the, the rest of the way. That's crazy. You don't, need, never to, do that. You don't need to I tilt your head because that's like obvious as a kiss. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's, it's, usually, closer, got, it's got, usually not that far either. Like it just yeah, looks farther totally because of how yeah, yeah. far they were. He's jumping over the couch. <laughs> but imagine if he pulled away. Do you know how embarrassed she would be? She would never want to make a first move ever again. It's a little risky. But that's the perfect sign that you know, okay, this is where we stay. Yeah, just now next to me, man. Well, for me, I say that if if you're if you're confused about them, then they don't like they you. They don't like you. Yeah. So like, I just don't waste my time. But he, if he's true. so crippling Wait. shy and he's not yeah, like, he's shy. she it's, should just try to make a move and if he rejects her, then he rejects her. Exactly. Now you know. You it's got just confusing because he texts her every day still. All the time. Yeah, this guy sounds shy. And they shy. keep making plans. They hang yeah. out. Maybe he's lonely. Can I? Can yeah. I, shy. Can I he's shy. Can I be picked? Uh, God, what a pick me. Fuck. I'm embarrassed. I fucking forgot what the thing. It was on the top. I was trying to bring back, like, we had a topic earlier, something about, like, can you tell if a guy likes you? Fuck. He's like, so clans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so climate change. Uh, but fuck. But I, I'm agreeing with the shy thing mm -hmm. because, like, every other, especially if you can, like, tell that he has no game. Yeah. Like, and oh, there we go. Should. The, is it good if is it cool if girls make the first move? I think that was like or no, it was like the marriage question. No, no, no. When girls oh, do we like, like when girls make the first move? The first there we go. Yes. That was a topic earlier, right? Yeah. yeah. And we were all like, no, for a long term situation, no. But this is the exact situation where the girl does need to make the first move because Why? if she likes him, regardless of his inability to make the first move, which she may want in a guy, then she should make the it's clear that he can't make the first move. He's scared. But so yeah. I've also heard that like if a guy wants to like get to know you for real like seriously like he sees like a potential future with you he won't want to like touch you so is that a possibility mm. possibility that but not like, after three dates he won't even yeah. kiss her or something like nah. after she called yeah, him out you too you she called him out oh, yeah, Wait, yeah. was that in person in person she was like what why won't you say? kiss me and then he was like I'm sorry if I disappointed you and then he left what yeah. oh, okay then in that case that's that different like that, that, that is a little bit of a move there's, already there's Whoa. literally only two things you can do with that sentence it's one you can take action which he's not that type of person or you can cower away which is his natural reaction she literally said she was like it would have been so high if in that moment he would have just like grabbed but he's not that person but yeah. she should have kissed him exactly she said why won't you kiss me that would have been say, that is a big move wait isn't that, isn't that like non-consensual if she was to just kiss him when but that's why he said want 90, to, right? that's he that's needs to come at least 10 percent the move well, that's, you're not just fucking but she didn't do the 90 by his shirt like yeah. this it's you it, can do tell it, do it do it, do it. Like, <laughs> hey, you've kissed me before. I'm scared. I'm scared of you. Are you I pussy? Pussy. I'm scared pussy. of you. <laughs> I felt his mustache hair as well oh. when he kissed me. But uh, I love kissing never man. Forget. He yeah, pictures he has this thing ingrained in my head. I love kissing Every girl my I kiss from now on, it's like she's not fit. <laughs> but what I was saying is, yeah, like if you're going in for a kiss, you know if if they want to kiss you or not. Like either they come to meet you or they're fucking running. And that's the difference. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it cannot, if she gave that to him and he still said no, he does not want to kiss you. Okay, were you guys running. ever shy at running. any point? Of course. Okay. She, she should try one more time, but instead of asking, she'd be like, hey, like either we can I kiss her right or just try. She should just try. And if he avoids, she doesn't like her. Because maybe the question was, like he got nervous. Like when but he, as a... Sh 
as a former shy guy or whatever, if you guys have ever been shy, if a girl said that to you, would you have made that move right there? Like if she was yeah, like, why yeah, would yeah. you kiss that me? That was like, that's like my heaven if I was yeah. like- No, I, but you guys yeah. aren't shy. You're not- Not, not, not much even anymore. If you were shy, if you've been High school, shy, it's like that, everyone's a little shy. Yeah, that, like. gives you, that gives you the go ahead. Mm. I, I'd say the last time I was ever that type of shy was like in middle school. Damn, for like, real? Like Get where like the girl was waiting for me to kiss her. I was just like- I was literally shaking. I was like, I could not do it. This is a difficult situation, right? Because yeah. why is he still talking to her? Then? Yeah, yeah, you're not yeah. interested enough to no, kiss her. That's what I'm saying. I think that he's interested and just too scared and doesn't know how to make. Or the maybe move. he just wants her as a friend. Why? Why do women just want to fuck? I mean, guys I did say like, what if he's lonely? Why do Why do women only see men as fucking meat? <laughs> you ever thought about that? As, as Slim Jims, huh? <laughs> like he has feelings and needs to meet like a dehydrated seasoned beef stick <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all why do guys ghost after showing a lot of interest and things are going well with the girl mm. what what could be what things could were be not going possible? well with the girl <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're good, you're good, you're it could good. be you're good. it could be a number of reasons uh the biggest speaking from personal experience would probably be the fear of intimacy like when she gets like a little too real and too close Immediately, I'll start to run away. It's because you're not ready for a serious- not even to not ready, but it's just like you you start overthinking. You're like, oh, like I could actually get hurt by this. And it's not even you really think about it. It's just like your body telling you, like, no. So you don't regret like not pursuing it because that means you lost her. Yeah, you're gonna be losing her. Does that does that not like? I've never regretted losing any bitch. <laughs> We call them women I, on this I, podcast. Oh. I think it varies from person to person, but I think one would be they just don't actually they didn't like you. They found someone better. They're probably talking. They found about someone better. Yeah. I think. <gasps> I think that's like the most. That, that's what I was thinking. I think that's like yeah. these days people have so many um, options mm-hmm. that like let's just say this guy likes three girls, right? And he was just kind of like, oh, you know, I like her, but not enough. <laughs> Um, them confirming just, every girl's biggest fear. Yeah. No, but, but time else. out, time out. Girls, probably all your friends are talking to multiple guys, guys for the most part. Whether or not they're serious or not, they're swiping on a bunch of guys, having small conversations here and there. Yeah, I mean, both both so, sexes, yeah. Yeah, so the minute, and I, and I bet it's the same in the early <laughs> dating stage, that if you find somebody, right, and then all of a sudden someone better, yo, know, in your eyes, better chemistry, better looking, comes along, <laughs> you're going to probably go st- or slowly... Back away from the first person that you were suddenly interested or in. Or she, literally she just gets annoying. Oh. Yeah, that, I think the <laughs> biggest, the real biggest reason people ghost is they are not like one-sided. She may be feeling the vibes are there, but that guy is probably not feeling the same thing. And mm. guys more than girls, I think will will pretend like they're feeling the vibes till the very end, till they decide mm. oh that it's God, not fuck. it. Oh my God, fuck, okay. Yeah. Um, little sneakies. On the topic of guys losing interest, is there any way for a girl to gain a guy's interest again once he's like uninterested now? Like, do you think a girl could like unick herself from you guys? Yeah, kill every other woman I talk to. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! I think that's just like a the bit last thing. woman I don't know if that's on a earth. Experience. <laughs> Can you guys sit up? This is a podcast. It is very uncomfortable because if I floor. sit up, I'm gonna. <laughs> no, not you. I was talking to them because. No, I know, I know, I know, but I'm just like it, it's a very uncomfortable. <laughs> You're laying on the floor <laughs> to give us more space, man. My hips were like sore. Was I still in frame? Yeah, everyone was still. No, I'm putting my head next to Nick's dick again. Um, <laughs> okay, so no, 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 no. I know, I know. I was the only one that wasn't in frame, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, what, what was the question? Could a girl like unick herself from you if you've lost interest in her? Is there anything she can do to make you interested in her? I again? really don't think so. I don't think so. Only because that the second I lose interest, where why would I contact? You know what I mean? Like it's like yeah. she would have to be somebody that remains in my life regardless of if I'm interested. So like coworker, <laughs> friend group, right? Something like this where. I could see the change in her and then maybe I think. But if I'm like talking to someone and that's the only reason we're in contact, if she icks me out, I'm not like, I'll just stop talking to her and then I would never know she got better or whatever. Yeah, but what if like she icks you out and then you see her four years later and she's like, I was, hotter, I was about to say, different. I was about to say, I'm on the exact opposite of you. Yeah, I think that is that's so different. Can, so you can un- Cause at that point that she's a different person though. Like, it, yeah, exactly. well, like but, if, but it gave you that break. And yeah. If I get icked out by a girl yeah. and I still see her constantly, I'm, there's nothing really going to change. But if it's like a year later uh, or something like that, mm, then so it, all the those feelings can come back again. I was like assuming like this that. scenario was like, you guys stop talking and then like a month later, like I, I, I thought we were talking about like months, not mm. years. 
She's just saying can a girl ever come back? Yeah, in in general. So that, but that's, rely, that's, that's relying on chance, though. Uh, I agree with you. I think that's the more likely scenario still. And in no. four years, that's two completely new people. Yeah, yeah no, completely no, 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 no. different not, people. Not even four years, but to answer a question, can a girl come back? And we're yes. saying yes, yes in yes, that yes, yes, rare yes. scenario. If you uh, don't see it for a You also have to factor how long you've known them, too. Because if you've known them for three or four years and they have an ick that comes up, you can't like deny the past four years. Like yeah. you also have to. But whoa, whoa, whoa! You know a girl four years, and you only recently started liking her, or you've liked her for four years. Wait, are with we nothing saying happening. it can only come from somebody you're interested in? Yeah, that yeah we're manner? talking this in a context of somebody we're interested in. Yeah, I would still say the same. I mean, that's so low. Like, why did I know her for four years? Oh, and I got one. It only mattered at the end. Yeah, let's say you lived in LA, and then all of a sudden she started vaping. I'm just making up something, yeah, like, or something picked up like a, up. Va- yeah, vaping yeah, yeah, is started. not a deal breaker for me. I'm not saying it's no, ick, let's just say it breaker. was good. Yeah, I, you've conditioned me. Or she went from, or she, or she. You love the smell, like no, I hate the smell, but no. it's just like I, okay, whatever. No, but like he's gonna do it anyway. <laughs> but or or it's like something like maybe she wasn't a super party girl, and then over time, oh like sorry, like going trend, out, yeah, just crazy, go, yeah, and Ooh, like maybe nasty, was, being a little like sloppy. Nah. What? That's how you could. That's well, just that, an example. That seems more like, like she has something she's going through that made her that. Like I still like her, and that this is not like a. I don't know. That's not. That doesn't seem like it's a part of her true self, and rather some toxic thing she's going through. You know, babe, this isn't you. <laughs> Come back to stop, me. Stop. Stop going out. I would say it's rare. Let's okay. have game so night. Most of the time, don't go to high. Night. <laughs> You're gonna be this. That's him. That's him yeah, talking yeah. to you. Um, we can play Monopoly. What do you guys think is worse, someone who's a serial dater or someone who's never had like a serious relationship? Serial dater. From from uh, from our point dater. of view of a girl, serial dater. Serial. Dater. You think a serial dater is worse? Way worse. Yeah. Yeah, because the serial daters like there's something wrong with them where they can't be alone. They're codependent. Yes. Yeah. Whereas yeah. like Very big someone true. who has never like sure you probably have to teach him how to be in a relationship maybe but it's like but it comes at least at least you can innocence. be alone like at least you can leave him alone and you don't have to worry about well actually men nowadays everybody nowadays you what am i saying <laughs> <laughs> where are you what's your name <laughs> there's everybody cheats so i don't know what oh, about person. everybody on that everybody cheats. do you guys think um do you guys like a more like a girl who's overly dependent or a girl who's overly independent What's overly mm. dependent? Like, you're like one of her only friends, like, let it out, constantly needs to talk That'd to you, so constantly bad. needs your reassurance, mm. constantly that. Mm. Or a girl who's overly independent, who basically doesn't need you. You're like, you try to do her. little things for her, but she's like, I, I don't need it, I could do it myself. Independent. Like, you don't feel I don't like, pre- you don't I don't like either. You have to pick yeah. one. Well, you ha- independent. You have to pick one. Definitely independent. I N D E P P. At this stage of my life, I would not be with her because I don't like that either, but I think independent just because it would be too burdensome. Why? Yeah, why you? Why you independent? Because I've been with somebody that was very like dependent, dependent, and I've had friends who have been in relationships with girls who are very dependent, and that shit gets. But like, annoying. what? She's like, can you? Can yeah, you, like help me get the cereal box off the fridge. Nah, like, it's just like, what are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm going here, and then oh, I want to come, and then it'd be like, oh, like, and I'll be like. I'm going out with all my friends and then she'll be like, oh yeah, like I'll just stay home or something like that. Oh, it like, makes you feel bad. And I'm just like, okay, fine, you can come or something like that. You know what I mean? Mm, but so, yeah. I've, I've seen it a lot where like I have oh, friends puppy. who are very dependent. I have like very, some. I know some people who are like very dependent and I've noticed that I feel like they get guys like so much easier than my friends who are very independent. Because guys like feeling like heroes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At first. And, and the definition of dependent may be different for you guys and from what we can handle. Like mm. I want, I would like a girl that's a little dependent, like, you know, mm-hmm. but too dependent is like you're starting to it's like my the toxic ex that he brought up on the hot crazy matrix where it's like you go out you go out on your own which i was cool with right that's fine going to a club is fine but then calling me and then like making it a problem that i'm not with you mm. all the time is is fucking bad you know what okay. i mean like that's you're now starting to really affect aspects of my life that had nothing to do with you to begin with and just your toxic behaviors are fucking me up even though i chose not to go mm. so it's like that type of shit would uh that's like too dependent, you know, and in a toxic way. But like, I don't know, being like, hey, what are you doing? Can I come? Can I come watch you grocery shop? Like, that's like cool. It's yeah. Cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. What? Well, hey, hey, you have something to say for yourself. What? How do you be behaving? You're just like, are I you feel like she's fucking dependent? 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 Yeah. Well, I think you're very independent. I'm very independent. Yeah. 
I, I don't. Yeah, okay. why? Wait, why do you think I'm dependent? No, no, no. You sat there. You're yeah, like, mm, yeah, wait. Like you, 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 you said many things to us on this podcast where you're just like, I'm crazy and obsessive and, and crazy. <laughs> okay, no, no. That's just me being silly. You know, I get kind of. Uh, that's just. <laughs> when I get Any, a little infatuated, I, that, yeah. I get a little. <laughs> that's my crazy side. But in every day, I'm kind of normal. Surprise. I know. Um, Can we get the AC running again? It's mad yeah, hot. It is really hot. Starting to get horny. I'm chilling. You guys think that shit is free? Yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you. No, it's just an interesting you, thing Vladimir I've noticed because I feel. Turn it off. Uh, Do you? Thank you. Um, what is it? What is um? If you were talking to a girl and she was like freshly out of a relationship and she's a serial dater and let's see you figure this out that she's kind of a serial dater, do you think you could continue it or no, do you think you'd be absolutely like absolutely not red flag biggest red flag? You'd immediately is. be like no yeah, heart. No. I don't cool. know why, but I feel like these days a lot of people are serial daters because so it's people. because it's like so easy to find people online, mm -hmm. you know? And you just literally like after one person, you're just like, okay, it didn't work. I'm going to go to the next one, next one, next one. So it's like, I think it's a recent kind of phenomenon. Thing. Yeah. Just cause it's easy. doesn't mean I have to put up with it. I don't, I don't care. That's not what I, I have. Want. I have a rule that you need to be completely single for at least six months from your ex, not like completely single, but mm -hmm. like, from your ex, your long-term relationship ex, you gotta like not talk to him for rule. six months. Good rule. Six months still feels a little. It's a little. It's a little short. But some yeah. people, some people can move that's on. In six I months. Would, yeah, that, that's the bare minimum mm -hmm. I've seen. Mm -hmm. I think people be able to move preferably on a year. Just your ex, but you, oh, you, you are allowed to be dating people. I don't care if you but, have like yeah. like like, like hookups and shit, oh, but it's okay. like. Even like a situation ship, like anything involving romantic feelings, like I need you to be over that shit for at least six months before I even take you seriously. Mm. On the serial dating topic, I think it matters a lot if they saw their serial dating as an issue or not. If they're like, well, I, I didn't commit to any of them. What does it matter? Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what I mean? If they're like defending the fact that they constantly needed something as opposed to, yeah, I had a problem. Like, you know, I was feeling I had this part of me missing and I'm working on it. That's a completely I've, different aspect of ex serial dater. I've asked some of my the serial daters that I know, I'd be like, um how what? Like why are you I'm like, why don't you like being single? Girls like whatever. Or guys? Girls. Okay. And they've told me, they explain it, they're like, I just like the companionship. Like I like having a significant other. Like my entire life I had like it was this idea was pushed to me that like love and like a partner and whatever. So that's why I like it. And I was, they say to me, I'm like, okay, you make it sound very sane. To me I'm like serial daters, I'm like, I could never mm -hmm. but I'm like when they explain it to me, I'm like wow that kind of I guess everyone has a rationale for their psycho, psycho it, I mean it makes sense but it's at the end of the day if you cannot be alone and yeah. you like it's just it it's just something missing inside of you yeah. I was an exterior yeah. dater mm. I, I, would, I would get out of a relationship right into the next one especially never if, deal with the breakup especially mm. if you are fucking um like oh. why are you dating so many so like dating so many people right there's like a couple reasons for it it's like either you want to be cuffed and you're going on these dates to look and no one wants to cuff you or for some reason you don't want to cuff anyone because maybe you just like all the options, which is like red flag mm. 101, you know, and then it's like so either or it's it's a red flag. I saw this. Um, they said that narcissists tend to be serial daters because they don't mm. um, they don't solve their issue. They don't they like to like forget it, like just toss it in the back and then just go straight to the next person. Like, they, yeah. they, they assume they're perfect. So they assume that whoever I end up with in a relationship yeah. is like I'm a gift yeah. to them. They don't know, but they also don't address their problems. Yeah. And they but, just go straight to the next person. So clarify for me, like let's say you're dating somebody, you break up, and then you start going on dating apps. You don't lock down one person in a situation ship. You're just going on How is that not different than serial dating? What? what? That's that's not what? serious. Because you're not you're not I, I guess I guess because but you're still trying to fill an empty That's hole that's still like, not a healthy way yeah, to, to cope with all. a breakup. But serial dating is like committing like your whole life to this one girl, breaking up and like two yeah. weeks later, okay, okay. boom, I see a future with her. Okay. Boom, I see a future with her it's, after that. Yeah, almost that's what serial dating even is. Even less serious. It's more like you go on dates knowing that you are gonna go on a date with somebody else next week constantly. Like there is you're going on dates, no idea no no reason to commit to anyone period but yet you're gonna go on dates and kind of just like do that constantly like Man, a cycle. i feel like everybody is like that the minute they get out, I, I feel like everybody in this okay room, well yes but there's a threshold to call it a serial dater not it. everyone reaches the serial dating threshold of, do, it, of being Cause, that because everybody i know that's broken up or Whatever it is, their first immediate thing is of course that's normal, and, and I yeah. and I think I think that's a normal response. I'm not saying it's the healthiest, but I think it's the most normal. 
but serial dating is like it's your lifestyle. Got you it. know what I mean? And I and I know the difference. I yeah. know people like that, but yep. I wasn't sure. Yep. I was like, okay. Next one. This one I kind of like. Um, what can a girl do to make you feel comfortable enough to open up to her? Mm. That's deep. Good question. I I must sit this one out. <laughs> Why? I have a problem. He's never. He's never. Oh, so you don't. You just don't know how to answer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Say say the question one more time. What can a girl do to make a guy feel comfortable enough to open up to? I'm gonna sit this one out too. I, I think Damn! That, why? I think that if if so she's, we know we know who the final two in the emotional intelligence race was. <laughs> Is it because it's too personal, or y'all just I've like don't never? Have an I've never like oh, opened yeah. up to a girl like that. Damn! I think I think well, that I have, if she's but... vulnerable first, oh, if she shares something that if she, if she shares something that you could tell that she's trusting you with some information, then I'm I feel like oh I I can reciprocate a little bit of that, but also like. E- if you spend enough time with anyone, some moment of vulnerability will slip and how they react and how they treat me afterwards will tell me everything I need to know. Oh, so yeah. That's very good. Mm, that's a good one. That's a, that, yeah, that's the so one. So again, I won like the that. emotional intelligence race. Um, <laughs> you don't think it would be like if she was to come to you and start opening up to about her sh- her stuff, you wouldn't find it kind of like no, trauma I think, it, I think women naturally <laughs> do that just more oh. than women. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, women yeah, are more open to doing that. But I, I, it wouldn't make it's me immediately reciprocate with vulnerability. No, but what I'm hearing... Right, I'm like, okay, this person trusts me certain information, so then I feel like maybe I can share something. I feel more comfortable with that person. Yeah. Alrighty, and y'all. It, and, all, and all, obviously, there's like a, a a level of trauma dumping versus you could tell someone's being vulnerable. Is trauma mm-hmm. dumping hot? Yes or no? Hell no. No. I don't think trauma dumping is ever. Yes. Yes, it is. What about you, Vin? Nick what just likes to be toxic. What about yes, you, Vin? It is. What about Tra- no trauma dumping scares me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for explain, real. sir. You're the odd man out. Well, sometimes it's like, why is it hot? Because it's like they like you enough to like tell you their trauma and like dump everything on you. I in feel like what if she's not like over like, and she could just still do it? Wait, that's, what? I feel like it, like if that's the type of person to trauma dump on anybody, then nah, like, but it's, it's not, not anybody. It's not anybody though. Is no, what no, I'm saying. Okay, let's. It is anybody. You say like it's a hookup it, trauma it, dumping no, no, on me? Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, then no, that's just weird. Way too quickly, they're trauma dumping on you. Yeah. If I like her, I don't think it's... Well, that's that's not trauma yeah, dumping. Then it's not trauma no, dumping. That's just sharing trauma. That. You've yeah. earned that. You've earned that. Oh, nah. That's yeah. just vulnerable. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. That shit weird. Yeah. Last place. Keep that shit you to yourself. Race. Keep that to your therapist. I trauma dump when I get nervous, okay? Oh. That's all it is. <laughs> now, up, until, up until a few months ago, like anytime I would have deep conversations, my ears would get hot and I would like... My first instinct is to like run. How many miles? <laughs> What's what's going on? What the how hell? Many <laughs> how many miles? How many miles? I guess I guess it's been a year now. Like uh, I don't know if you remember this, but one of the first times we ever hung out, it was like five a.m. I took you and Maru home, and we were just outside talking. Yeah, was in my, it in my car? Was it Sage with? No, us? Sage. Sage had left already. Okay. It was, and we were. Just I do talking. remember. Yeah, I do remember right? this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never told you guys this, but my ears were burning so really? hot, and I was so scared. I remember that actually. Yeah. I do vividly remember that. Why, why, why was it burning? I don't know. It's just always been like any. What did it have the, to do with like like talking about something that just? Any time I get meet new people and I like start being like vulnerable? deep or vulnerable, it uh, scares the fuck out of me. I feel that. Mm-hmm. I don't so. know about the warming of the ears, but I feel like... Yeah, yeah. No, it's just like the blood rushes to my head. Have you ever had seltzers? Wait, is this like the regular one? Oh. These ones. Ah. Let's try this one. Okay. This was only 90 calories. No ice. Mm. How do you like that? Much better. Pog. There you go. Do you have just the lynchy one in a box? Ooh, not at the moment. We have the 12 pack. Yeah. What? Oh. Oh. Is that oh. Yeah. This is our baby. I just like it because it's light, you know. Oh, yeah, that is so good. Mm-hmm. Nice. Refreshing, yes, yes. Yeah, this new one and the lychee one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll try one. Oh, Thank perfect. You. Thank you so much. Thank you for trying. Thank you. I'm going to do a speed round, y'all. Okay, so number one, when you're submerged in water, <laughs> do Does your meat float? float? <laughs> um, yes. Also, sure. Yes? Pretty sure it does. I, I wear like tight swimming trunks. So I don't know. No, look okay. at the bathtub. What about bathtub? Yeah, I have baby. not been in a. It floats? Uh, I think my meat floats. My shit's too small to move. So it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, I do not know. Yes. No, it's just the balls. It's just like two buoys <laughs> hanging at the top of the water. Oh, God. Where's the worst place to have a boner? 
Like what location? Before before you have to go up and do a presentation for class. <laughs> okay. Whoever has the worst wins. Grandma's hey, Br- funeral. Br- Brando, Brando had the worst one already. We've talked about we, this. What is this one? We talked about this question. Yeah, it's okay, already, it's okay to bring up the question. same thing. Huh? I said when you're hugging your mother. Uh, oh, oh my God. God. Wait, I don't remember this. That's, that's oh, terrible. Maybe you were there. That's crazy. I, I don't know. I, I remember, don't remember one this. of my teachers telling me a story in like grade six. He was like, sometimes when the, like boys are doing presentations, we'll just see them. They'll have like a sheet of paper and they just slowly start moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I, I have a scary moment that happened with a boner. And <laughs> also. Who's boner? <laughs> <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, so I was going in the bathroom and my mom s- sees me and then I get into the bathroom, but I have like the meanest boner. So the first thing I do is I put it up like, and oh, I you tuck my, it into your waistband. Yeah, the I try to do the smart man, so smart man, smart man. Hoping that like the blood's going to go back. Yeah, you put it in the holster. Yeah. And then I'm walking to the bathroom. My mom stops me. And she goes like, why do you got your wallet in front of your pants? And I'm like, oh, that's crazy. And I was just like, oh, I don't got anything. Goodbye. And then just close the door. Dude, it kind of sucks being a man with a, like, uh, just get random boners. Does your shit hit your belly button when you tug it? Yeah. It shit hits his nipple. (laughs) (laughs) I've seen it. That's chin. (laughs) That's a good way to ask how big it is. That's enough, man. Why do you have that Gatorade bottle? Uh, you're you're not right. supposed to have sweets after 10. <laughs> okay, guys. If you're in a car with your mom and your wife, who is sitting in the front seat? My mother. My mother. Mama was in the car yeah. first, honestly. Mama. Oh, yeah. Actually, <laughs> that's a better answer. You scream shotgun, they're running <laughs> to the car. <laughs> Dude, imagine. Okay, but imagine you had your girlfriend in the front, and then you pick up your mom and you go, like, girlfriend back. Oh, yeah. That would be fucked up. That is so funny. Yeah, my mom also my mom my mom would, would not care. care. Absolutely. Yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, th- my mom is cool enough that she would, she would just actively go back yeah yeah, um, yeah. queen i know yeah. my mom would too like she doesn't care yeah my mom does not care. yeah and i my mom was too nice to my random hookups i didn't like it <laughs> she was like always like a girlfriend yeah and i did not like it <laughs> you love, wanted her to be woman, mean though. not mean but she would like like we'd finish and shit and they'd like go get water and she'd be like oh do you want food do you want me to cook you something I'm like please she's the mom this. from Mean Girls oh like me oh, like, what a snack queen. do you have a snack Mondo. oh god I love you guys no she's an angel I, 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 you guys I, sounded like you're having fun oh, in there so much. <laughs> I, I, I love that god. woman god right <laughs> that would how fucking... did my little boy Vit do pretty good <laughs> hell no nah. Dude, that's oh, so fuck. disturbing. That's gross. Yeah. That's so disturbing. How likely are you to wax your butthole if a girl wanted you to? Your girl wanted you Scary. to wax. No. Wax. Why I've not? Never waxed any part of my body. Yeah. Unlikely. Well, she wanted me to. Yeah. That hurts. Okay, and it hurts for us too. But guess what? Girls I'll always do, do what you gotta do. Good it. job, Wutog. Yeah, we love. You say we know, but why wax? Huh? It's oh, a okay. good job we talk. Okay, okay. I said good job we talk. We love. <laughs> okay, nice. Huh? But what would be the purpose of waxing versus like shaving? Maybe she wants to eat. Yeah, man. You know the stubble, man. Yeah, maybe she doesn't back. like the prickliness. She knows that if it's waxed, it'll be soft. What if it, what if it rips my insides out? It won't. Oh, insides. Oh. Like you know, <sighs> prolapse. Oh. Ew. Oh my god. I've asked men to like trim their or shave their pubes, and did because they it's, do it? It's, yeah, but oh. it's because it's annoying because sometimes that shit gets in your mouth, right? Uh, n- never? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just be... By yeah. myself? Yeah. By myself? I, I've, had, I've had pubes in my mouth. Yeah. Oh, what? Did I mumble that? You guys are... <laughs> <laughs> I have pubes in my mouth. I've had, not have. Yeah. Have, have guys. right now? That's so crazy. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know, because I could... Tr- I, I believe it if you say a guy. No, it's usually girls. Oh, for sure. Usually, usually yeah. Usually. Good, good, good. Typically. Yeah. Good. Every now and then, you know. <laughs> Every now and then, I get the it. The homies be looking good. <laughs> um, is that the speed round? Oh, oh no, we still, we have one more. Oh, you yeah. want me to go? Okay. Oh, yeah. um, Do whatever. How many, how many bodies is too many bodies for a girl for you to be like, no, one, deal breaker? Two, two. Come on, be you serious. Don't my joke, we'll man. Talk. I knew you were gonna say it. I had to say it first. <laughs> Even Girl. zero is too many, honestly. Why? Why? Like, why? <laughs> I don't. I don't believe in body counts. No. So, so there's no number that would make you. Be no, like, no, he's saying that she. <laughs> no, body counts is a social construct. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nobody, a woman's not deemed less worthy because of how, oh my how God. bad she's okay. fucked. <laughs> he's gonna fight for us at our period. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm genuinely scared to answer this question. I feel like I'm just gonna oh. get torn up. If it tear your ass. No, up. but this yeah, is. No, you're allowed to is, have your. Opinions, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, men, men nowadays not. are not allowed to have <laughs> no. opinions, oh my gosh. especially at, on women. At what age? At what age? Uh, age. Let's just say your age. Our age. Your yeah, age, your yeah. age. 
Your dating range. This is, is your preference. Some people yeah. don't care. It's just preference, 15, guys. I would say don't 15. hate on them. 15. He said 15. 15. You said 50. 50, 50 or 15? <laughs> Who'd you say? I said 15. 50? Okay. Five, five, zero? Zero. Five, okay. Zero. I say 49. <laughs> All right. 48. Okay. Shut real up. answers, please. Wu we'll Tong, be original, please. Real answer. 49. It is original. None of them said 48. <laughs> If you're serious, I don't care. Is that actually forty? Okay, here's the thing. I don't, I don't, I don't think I can put it into numbers. But it's like you have to look at so many different factors. Yeah. You have to look at why are they fucking so many guys. Mm-hmm. You have to look at their age, how how close together those bodies are, how many sexual partners they had at one time. Yeah. Like it's just so like that. I like I say it as a joke, but body count matters. But it, like the number does not matter as much as the reasoning behind it. Okay. Big, big Amen. Facts because like it's it's also like your your uh, view on your body count. If you're like, oh, I have a high body count, but like you know that was like f- that was like three years ago, and I don't really view myself that way anymore. You're just defending yourself. He's just defending. He's, He's just like defending. Oh, yeah. He's defending himself. I'm projecting. What's going on? I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> what the fuck. He uh, thought he thought we were gonna be like, ah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a one. that's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good Why one. Why can't I be vulnerable? <laughs> if they used to sleep with a lot of people, but now they don't, and they're a new person, and they're celibate, then it's okay. No, I don't. Yeah, like I don't. I don't judge. I don't go. judge a guy based on how many. <laughs> numbers they have though like i think body count it doesn't no, really matter no, it matters it matters if do they think there's nothing wrong with just constantly fucking people just because you're single okay. versus like oh i shouldn't have done that because yeah of XYZ. i mean if their mindset has changed and they yeah. you know then fine now see i agree with y'all but there's just a limit to okay what is your limit well, what's your limit? limit i i just i don't think i i don't know man i i really don't like over 50 over 50 is just doing a lot for yeah, me I disgusting just, oh, that's why I said 50. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Even like 40, I'm like, what are you doing, please? Like Honestly, 30. Honestly, 40 is crazy. I think, I think the sweet spot, if, if like, if between 10 and 20, you're great. You're fine. But like, even, I, but like, please, man, I don't know. I Wait, just think it's a lot. So hard. Does it turn you off if a man has only like two body counts? Because I know, I know that some girls might be like, why don't you only have, yeah, why, why do you only have two? This is why it's the sweet spot. Because it's like, you have enough experience mm-hmm. that you're going to, you're not going to be, embarrassing with it do you know what i mean <laughs> but um but anything no, more than that i'm like why are you doing okay that? so i just did like, the math from you're hurting me embarrassing with <laughs> no, it no, no. from 18 to 25 that's seven years right seven times 12 is fuck i just forgot it so i can't do math 84 that's 84 months one a month is wild where was i going with this you're saying one a month not one a month but like if you guys can do the math, some like, people do like three times a month. They're like it doesn't really. It, it really depends. That's what on I'm saying. Some that is, some that is a lot. Of, one a day. Like, that well, is I know a, people who do three a day. That is a three lot. Three a day is crazy. I'm not kidding. You got no job. No, that is your job. job. That, that is, is your job. job. All right, well, yeah, if it's your job, <laughs> that's different. Nice. We don't shame sex workers though. Yeah. No, no, no. But okay, no. Yeah, no. The rest of y'all. Did everyone give an answer? Camera. Yeah, yeah, they have. Oh. Um, just kidding. Did anyone say no? Jeremy, number? Jeremy didn't say the number. They just copied off each other. You know, copy, copy, copy. It was like 50, it was like 50, it was like 50 it was a, it was 49, and then 48. View. I was the only one that's come with an actual. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Real I gave an answer. I'm the only one with emotional intelligence too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Everybody wants that title so bad. <laughs> But Comment you, down no, the, who was the most emotionally the, the intelligent. The number thing never comes up It was up like in a slap in the face though, when I got disqualified. The what? When you're courting someone, you never ask them how many bodies do you have. True. So yeah. why would it matter? I have been asked. Not going to lie. You have? I asked. No, I've been asked. Yeah, I've been asked Wait, too. I've, I've, if somebody I've asked, asked, I would, I would stop talking to them immediately. No. If that's, they ask? Yeah, oh, that's what do you get? Because yeah, why? You get disqualified? Huh? Yeah, what do you got to hide? Yeah. I have nothing to hide. I'll yeah. tell him a number, but that's just like and then weird. leave right away. Yeah. Yeah. So he just says a number, he just leaves. <laughs> to judge me off of that is is crazy. Yeah. I don't think it's judging. I'm just because curious. I have a very high number, but they're all friends. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, so we can't even trust you with friends. Of course. That was the Hold biggest on. one. Hold on. Hold on. Be on his side. No way. But Brando, you don't. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I, I, I feel bad for their exes. I don't know why when he when you say you just disappeared, like I just see like him holding a cap, cape and just doing this. <laughs> 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 I just just vanishing. Like he's like he's like five hundred. I just go into the shadows. I just <laughs> retreat. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, oh, that's 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 why I personally I don't ask. No, for I mean that's cow. a good one. That's a good one. Okay, no, I ask, but I think it's a little <laughs> childish. I don't want to know. I've been told that, but I'm I okay don't want to know. I want to know. <laughs> will it but, will it change? Will it completely change your perception depending on the number? No. <laughs> if it's let's say two hundred, let's just say hypothetically. Yeah. Hypothetically, I would I would do the math and be like, that's impressive. 
And I don't know how you did it, but I wouldn't judge him. Mm. Like, I, I wouldn't judge him. But don't you think you have to have some type of... Issue? Yeah, issue or care. Like, it to could me, that's be. like, uh, that high, it's like there's something, something missing like there. Something I think there's, yeah. there's always an underlying, like, issue. Exactly. But I... I think that, you know, if if he's not doing it anymore, like, why do I care? That's what I meant by, like, obviously a higher body count, there's there's something to why. To unpack. Maybe. Yeah. They're like, But that's that's just something you have to ask them, like, what made you yeah. just yeah. go around fucking random people? Like, what were you missing in your life? Yeah. See, why couldn't you be alone? Blah, blah, blah. And I think the larger, and why you asked that is, like, to see, like, what they think about ha- having a high body. If it's, like, there's no, there's nothing wrong with fucking whoever I want. Yeah. Huge red flag. And mm-hmm. it's, like, they're they're more likely to cheat on you, probably. But, <laughs> like, if they're, like, oh, you know, like, it was just this dark time in my life and blah, blah, blah. I'm working on it. They acknowledge that it was, like, something they probably shouldn't have done and that they indulged in anyways. Then it's a little bit different of a conversation, in my opinion. Thank you for sharing your story, Wutar. Shut the that. fuck up. <laughs> He's a personal autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> Buy his book online. <laughs> <laughs> order it now. <laughs> I'm gonna say the number out loud right now for the first time ever. It's seven. <laughs> Lucky way. number seven. Seven thousand. <laughs> Add a two zeros. Seven hundred seventy-seven. Yeah. Um, okay, no, no, but I, no, I, I no, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. Angel number. <laughs> it's a sign. Oh. No, I agree with you. We talk seriously. It really does matter, like no. yeah. whether or not they changed or not. Because, Agreed. Yeah. If there's if they're continuing to do that, then yeah, you they might cheat on you. <laughs> like I almost got to eight. That's no, with, crazy. <laughs> With what you guys are saying, like if he felt like really like shameful and regretful of it, I think it would ma- be less icky to me. It would be less yeah. like, but there would just be a part of me that'd be like sad. I'd be like, huh, he's been mm-hmm. with so many people, you know. Also, I'd like to add that just because you have a low body count doesn't mean I judge you either. Okay, I'm just saying that some people might think, oh shit, he has no experience. You know what I mean? And not want to fuck. I feel like Sometimes that goes way more happen. for guys than girls. Like yeah, a lot, yeah, yeah. girls will think that more of guys. I don't think guys think that of girls as much. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah I yeah. think that. I, I don't want you come. I, I don't want you coming into my life inexperienced. Nah, there are some guys that. that don't want a girl that doesn't have experience because, first of all, they may be like girls are more emotional. So if they're if you're like their first or even their second, they're they're just more. You know, She's I don't want to get drunk with you when we go home and then you suck my dick and there's teeth. <laughs> don't let that happen. Okay, but you can teach them and guide no. them a little bit. You can guide. You can, you can, he buys a dildo like wild. Like, you, <laughs> you are wild right now. That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't teach that. Like, whips out a cucumber. Learn. It's a busy CEO. He, he has no time to teach yeah. you. Yeah, super ah, bonsai, right? Super bonsai. <laughs> There's a lot to do over there, right, Vit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Between Nectar and Super Bonsai? Uh, that's funny. All right, y'all. Both his companies, you know? Should, we have a couple left um, that the audience wants to ask. Right. How much is a couple? Uh, okay, a couple is two. Several, <laughs> several, many. Okay, <laughs> all right. Let's see. Would you be with someone that your mom doesn't approve of? Yeah. No. Yeah. Really? Never. Got your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but why? Um, why? Why? I'm lying, but I don't think my mom's not like a typical Asian mom that would just be like, oh, I don't like she would have a good reason to why she doesn't approve. Mm -hmm. And I think I would I would definitely trust her judgment even more than mine in in some cases in that realm. So, okay, so she would approve of it. Hell no. <laughs> okay. But what, why? But he's, I don't a good, care. he's a good he's guy. He's a good guy. Let's just say she had like a lot of tattoos and piercing. Do you don't think. My ex had a lot of tattoos. Like a oh, lot it was of fine. Tattoos, it's yeah. just fine. She, I mean, she was just, it wasn't like fine. Like she didn't bring it up as an issue. She obviously her traditional mind is like yeah. whatever, but mm-hmm. she didn't like my ex didn't give in the time of us dating. She didn't give us, she didn't give my mom enough of an impression for her to give an uh, opinion. Okay. And she won't like force her opinion on me if she doesn't have a good re- reason. Yeah, Just yeah. saying, because I think that Asian parents are especially more judgmental. Picky and yeah, judgmental yeah, about, especially sure. things like that. Yeah, I didn't hear the sink go on, man. I didn't hear the sink turn on. I didn't hear it either. <laughs> <laughs> what about Vin and Jeremy? Let me put what? that in the mic. I did not touch my schmeet. Um, What was... The- could you be with someone your mom didn't approve of? Mm-hmm. Oh. Damn, you mean he he said I don't give a fuck about yeah. that. Mom. <laughs> Not necessarily. I would take I, I would take her concerns yeah. if there were concerns. But my mom has been wrong about certain things in my life plenty of times. Where if I know somebody better, I know somebody better, and maybe she has to learn something. So. Ooh. Depends on the situation. It's funny because it's funny because Jeremy Jeremy's would make his mom get out the shotgun to the <laughs> yeah. backseat. Hello, <laughs> hey, now you're painting me out to be a person bitch. I'm not. 
You just made up a scenario that's not Jeremy's true. Jeremy's very, no, I very like stubborn. I feel like they're linear. I feel like they're oh, man. The thing, the thing about my no, mother is, like, well, she's... What did you say? What did you say? No, I Don't said... Worry I, <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Jimmy, get I'll him. swing. Get him. Let's just say you're perfect. Equal rights, equal, equal rights. <laughs> give me your earrings. Give me your earrings. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, what were we gonna say? My mother, for some weird reason, has liked every single one of my exes. <laughs> Going back to how she's extremely friendly to like even my hookups. So Damn, if you would bring the hookups to the crib when I was on house arrest, we lived together <laughs> for oh, a year. He he mentioned that before. Yeah, yeah. Because she she had recently divorced my pops. Wait, what um, did you guys all say? All right. Well, I was in the middle of this. Wutok right? said Wutok said no, and Nick said yes. Okay. So, yeah, so you bring people over? My mom, I forgot what I was you saying. You said she was super nice to all your oh, hookups. Oh, so, like, even even my first ex, who was, like, just deranged, she would find good things about her. She was like, I really liked how she stayed with you, even when you were homeless and poor and shit. I was like... She sees the good in people. She sees the good Aww. in people. So if she's telling me, like, there's a problem, mm. I would deeply, deeply investigate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but were they, okay, were they mean sense. to... Similar okay. To mine. Did they show that side, a uh, bad side to my, her? My, when, when I was in that first relationship, uh, my mom was like the only one I'd talk to about all that shit. Oh, but like, did she physically like see it happening? Like you a guys fighting times, and yeah. yelling and stuff? Yeah, okay. yeah. And she still had good things to say about them? Yeah. She was like, well, we had been over for like two years at that point, And there was a, there was a night where she was like, do you still talk to... Blah, blah, blah. I was like, no. And she's like, oh, I kind of miss her. I was like, why? <laughs> Were they ever mean to her? Your mom? Were they? I don't think she was mean to her. If she was ever mean to my mother, like I would have broke up with, well, I guess I did break up with her. I would have tried my best not to talk to her again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you're also young. So I was like, yeah, yeah. a lot of the time when you're young, like you don't take your mom's side. No. Some yeah, yeah. yeah, they're like, your mom oh, tells you not to do something. You want to do it more. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Reverse it. You, same with you guys. I would still date the guy. I would because I, I need to learn from my my mistakes. To I know. be honest, like I like no matter what people say to me, say like like don't do that. I'm like if I really want to do it, I'm gonna do it. So like there's no yeah. point in you saying stubborn. no. Stubborn. Yes, it is stubborn. But to be honest, like I'm gonna always think like what would have you know what could have been what could have yeah. been yeah if I don't do it. You know I like that. My own. That's that's the sin of pride. Yeah, it is. Wow. A little bit. But it is, but, a, but at least you're owning also, if you own the accountability afterwards, I think you're fine. But I learn from it all the yeah. time and I'm just like, oh, okay, well. But there is value in learning from people wiser and older than you that care about you there. You know what I mean? Like there's value in it. So I think it's just a matter of if you're, like for you, your reason was that your mom's been wrong about many things that you wouldn't trust her opinion enough to take it as concrete fact. Mm -hmm. If my mom, if my mom ever was to tell me there's something wrong with a girl I was dating, I would, it would really shake me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it would strike yeah. fear in my heart because I value yeah. her opinion on human beings so deeply. So, uh, for, so yeah. I think it's a matter of respecting your, like, do, does your parent hold a position of authority in your mind where I'm going to listen to everything you say because yeah, you've proven not, yourself. It's not that I don't trust her. It's more so that for like- you would be your dad. My dad? Yeah, because it's dad man. You know what I mean? Like, oh, oh okay. Yeah, no, no, like that. It's not, yeah, no, it's not, a, it's not that I don't trust him. It's more so like, I'm a, I'm, I might regret it if I don't see it through, you know? And like, yeah. I, I'll learn from it eventually anyways. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So I think I could be with someone that my like um, mom or dad didn't approve of just because I feel like we have different values and what we think is good in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I, I don't think I could be with someone that would make my parents like, never like cut ties with me kind of thing like i couldn't do that but i think i could be with someone that like they didn't necessarily love just because i think we they have more like very very traditional mm -hmm. like old school old-fashioned like views on like relationships and i i think mine are different so if they were like oh i don't really love that person i'd be like well i like them so <laughs> too bad yeah you know mm -hmm. true true all right y'all do you prefer making out or cuddling it depends on who Cuddling. In general. In general. Cuddling. Yeah. Like Vit making out, Nick <laughs> cuddling. Okay. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> it means he doesn't see me sexually. He sees me as That's a fun. vulnerable partner to be around. I'm sloppy. I mean, it means that I'm emo. <laughs> Should we finish up all the questions? Or? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> what you was your like answer, Jeremy? Yeah, did he answer? That's he a didn't. tough one. Because it depends on, on who. Yeah, it's on like, like, that's a tough hot, one. Hot girl at the club, make yeah. out, cuddle oh, like anyone that I'm emotionally yeah. connected with. Yeah. Do you guys like getting your butt spanked by your woman? Do I like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have 
No, thank you. No, thanks. Why? Then stop slapping on ours. No, oh. <laughs> I get it. Never my woman would never so ask me to stop. Someone said, like, they low-key actually like it. Like, when their girlfriends do that, they think it's I don't cute. hate it. But they I pretend like they don't yeah, like don't it. It's not like I do. nut from the <laughs> moment of contact. Well, it's She slaps it. He's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that you nut. It's just like, you, you, you think it's cute. You're just like, it's don't, funny. Do, it. I think don't it's do it in front of like people, but like I, I like not it. Not in front of the boys. <laughs> yeah, not in front yeah. of the You're boys. You're embarrassing me for my friends. No, I don't even care yeah. about that. You can do it in front of people. Like, it's funny. Oh. But oh. like, I don't. Yeah, it's not something I like, like per se. Oh, okay. It's preference. Does it actually feel good when it hits the back of the throat? No, yes. it hurts. Oh. It, wait, what does it feel what? like? It hurts. When there's like a barrier there and it hurts. Wait, what do you mean? Like what? Sometimes. I know I know what you mean. You get what I mean? Like yeah. sometimes yeah. like there's, there's there's I don't know I actually don't know the science behind this. Um but there's like there's sometimes when there's like the barriers a little too hard. <laughs> what? Why did you say that into the mic, man? Yeah, that was just say funny it. As hell. So there's like there's like Sometimes the barrier the barrier is a little too hard, so it kind of hurts. But then other times there's like, like it's like really it's like it's like a little tightness, and then you push through the tightness, and that's when it feels good. But like then, if it's like a soft cushion that you're kind of like exactly, into, and then it's like, it, than- ju- it just gets like a little tighter. That's fire. But then sometimes it's literally just like like a ninety degree brick wall throat, and then it just does wait, every mouth feel different. Yes. Huh? In what sense? Every mouth? Yeah. Same way every hoo-ha feels different. Yeah, yeah. Every, wait, wait. Well, what barrier, though? I, every no hoo-ha barrier. feels what? different, what? but oh, every different. mouth is more skill than it is just feeling, you know? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like how they're using it. If you're pushing the back of your throat, let's say, say a popsicle, and you just and go, like, if you're push, you pushing a popsicle in your mouth, your hit, like, your mouth goes like that, like down, so you have to, like, angle it. Oh, Jeremy's to, like, put giving us back. tips. Yeah. Deep throat um, lessons with Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> Buy his segment. book. New is it segment. true some girls on the inside are like smooth and then some girls oh, are like more bumpy or like what? rigid a little bit? Of what? I heard. The, in the, if it's filled with herpes. Jobs. In the no. hoo-ha or the throat? <laughs> hoo-ha. Oh, in the hoo-ha? Yeah. Every yeah. hoo-ha feels different. I've heard, I there's, I've heard there's smooth ones and there's like rigid ones, rigid ones yeah. and guys can tell each oh. time. Rigid? Yeah, like, like, like kind, kind of, of rigged, like rigged, rigged, rigged. Sorry, I'm sorry. Are you guys oh, saying they both rigged? Said it. Rigged, like it. There's like rigid, rigid. Damn it. Yeah, rigid. Know. Honestly, I classify by good or not good. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Like you, like it's like a ribbed hoo ha. Like there's like a texture yeah. to it. Yeah. Apparently, that's yeah. what we heard. I mean, yeah, the G yeah. spot. Yeah. Up. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's oh, that's, different yeah, textures. Yeah, that's different rigid. textures. Yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah, saying it's different. Can you tell the difference? And we'll talk all those ladies yeah. and you don't know this? All seven of them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, they must have all had the same ones. Maybe if I got ones. to 10. <laughs> uh, hey, you guys. Um, do you notice our little mustaches? Yes. yes. Yeah. I, I do. stare at it yes. constantly. Wait, did I ask? Yes, yes, especially if it's like a little hot out and the sun is glistening through it with sweat. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sweat be making yeah. me notice. Yeah, then you see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to kill myself. But it's also not baby. like, if it's just normal peach fuzz on the face, it's it's not like, for it's me, it's like least. gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's we just, just noticed, noticed it. it. Yeah. We it's, not, it. it's not a turn off. It's just like seeing fucking like face hair. I'll go buy you a Gillette. That's wild. He's like I asked you for shaving <laughs> tips after. Yo, when you <laughs> shaved, you go with the grain or against. <laughs> Dap you up like my homie. Yeah. So you you don't have an opinion. When she you leans in for a kiss. You're like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, sir. Sometimes, I don't swing that way, buddy. Hey, what up, bud? Sometimes I'll Oh, Mr. Caterpillar. <laughs> Chill out. What are you doing? <laughs> Mr. Caterpillar. I'll just observe. I'll observe and I'll be like, it's kind of long. Like, <laughs> I, get, I get jealous. You, you get a big kiss? <laughs> hey, what are you guys whispering? No, sorry, we were, we're thinking of if we should do this one. Yeah. Absolutely, okay. do it. <laughs> this is so pill. stupid. Someone on the Discord actually asked us, and it was funny. Is it normal for a guy to cuddle with their female best friend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait. What? I mean, I've said, done it. Yeah. This is no, why you don't let anyone have a best friend. Kidding, right? This is what? why you never you're, trust you're the kidding? girl best friend my, ever. My, my woman best, best friend. friend. No, is it normal to cuddle with your? Woman best friend. Wait, like while, while like, they're in a relationship or when they're single? <laughs> huh? While if, they're in a relationship or let's single? Let's just say both. Okay, single. obviously. Okay, no, 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 not the relationship. Single, 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 single. single. Okay, yeah, single. single. I've done that oh, with no, someone who was also single. That. that was also my friend. But you were but not But then the second they had a relationship where we did, like we would never do that. That's crazy. They would okay. never even come over. Wait, Sometimes but were you attracted actually, to her? No, nah, that was just my So why are you cuddling? What are you guys doing? You're keeping each other warm? Yeah, sometimes yeah. my body just watching for another. I have done that, but I was definitely, we were attracted to each other and we just did, refused to admit. Okay. So it, so I, 
if you're like, I just strongly believe you should not. So you believe that. what he's saying right now when he says that, oh, he's cuddling with his girl, girl best friend and it was platonic. Yeah. I'll in every way. Well, well, what's up, but, what, what, but like cuddling, like cuddling was like, <laughs> literally like, is it platonic? It's intimate. No, no, but like, it wasn't like, like, like spooning. It was like, what is cuddling? For me, it was leg over my leg. And then arms interlocked, and then like, and then she was just giving me like. You guys, little, you guys wanted to hook up though. I'm, I'm basically, in love. I, no, you didn't even. You didn't even you get hard. No, you had no feelings. Uh, I'll admit this. <gasps> yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll admit this. I'll admit this. I'll admit this. He was really strong. No, 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 no. I'll admit this. When I when I had first met her, I was I was on a hot streak, so I, was, I I tried to kiss her, and she was like, "Whoa, nah." And then I was like, "Whoa, what the fuck?" And then after that, we became friends, and I've never was found her attractive like that ever. Okay, but still, anyway, I don't know about normal. Cuddling yeah, is so it's not intimate. Normal. I wouldn't say it's normal. normal. Okay, okay. I spoon them. Everyone, they do the little pretend to be asleep and they back their ass into my dick and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> and then I bring my hand up. I'm like, cop a feel. I'm like, yo, you up? <laughs> that's not a friend, bro. And then they have sex. <laughs> my best friend. Okay, yeah, so the only person that says friend? it was normal was... <laughs> Edward. Eddie. I love her. Eddie. And that was a rare situation, it Super sounds rare. like. I've never done that with anybody else. Any other... Girlfriend that yeah. was trying, it was, it was probably something. Wait, what about you, Brando? Oh, I this need to This guy's got no take. boundaries. No, wait, do you, even, wait, wait, do you even like cuddling? Do you even like cuddling? I, I like it more than sex. What? Yeah. Oh, shit. And I like and I sex just a lot. like, man. <laughs> I've been saying this. Okay, so you like it more than cuddling. So, like, okay, well, that means he cuddles. I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but Brand, I'm quickly becoming Brando's favorite. <laughs> hey, Brando, who's your favorite? Yeah, but. Oh, <laughs> I can tell by the little looks he gives me now. Smiles at me. Sometimes. Wait, oh, that's he what I was pointing at you because you said target. when you said everyone on this show lies, we should do some segments with lie detectors. Yeah. You can, uh, every, you can, really you can cool. ask them whatever really cool. you want. Oh. I've, I've never lied, so that shit would be crazy. I'm, I'm truthful to a fault. I think you've definitely fucking <laughs> fuck out of here. Who are your guys' man crushes? Man Ryan crushes? Reynolds. Yeah, Brad Pitt. that's like the basic. Yeah, Nick, like, I also picked Nick. Yeah, Nick. Oh, thanks, guys. I'm not kidding when I'd say, like, I want him to destroy me. <laughs> I've pictured I would, it. I would let like him his hit. cheeks? Yeah. yeah. I don't think Nick oh, wants to talk to you after this. <laughs> 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 I want face. him to destroy you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But us at the same time. I've pictured it many times. <laughs> How does that make <laughs> you feel? He's Nick? taking you out the group chat now. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Makes you feel warm. <laughs> And respected. Makes me feel wanted. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's do this again. Hey, who would what? you want your cheek? You can only pick one to destroy their cheeks. You destroyed Wu Tok's cheeks <laughs> or Vitz. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I told them this. You walk very pretty, <laughs> and it's a little attractive. Oh, so it's like the physicality. Like he's got bigger cheeks to destroy. It's a little attractive. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yep. Like Read back, it and weep, buddy. Back shots will go crazy. <laughs> used to it. He doesn't respond to my texts. Are you wearing yeah. protection or not? Nah? No. Yeah. Bit, yes. <laughs> That's crazy. I hate being on here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. But if I'm thinking of a celebrity, yes, you need to find a new it friend. It could be anybody. Not so, you said, so you said you guys actually said Nick, right? Mm -hmm. Two of you guys? Nick's a celebrity. Okay. What about <laughs> what about you, Jeremy? What it's about you guys? Biggest celebrity. I said house. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Okay. Okay. I see like old guys. No, he's the only per <laughs> he's the only person that when I met him, I considered like, oh, I see, I understand why you met Brad Pitt. I understand. Oh, yeah, she don't I, know who you are, Brando. Yeah, tell her who you are, yeah. Brando. Let her know. Yeah, let what's let up, the people what's know up? who you are, what is Brando. It Brando? He, he, made, hey, he, made, he made Frank Ocean a painting. Yeah, you oh, know, yeah. you know, go play was, my yeah, boy like he's a hoe. Frank's birthday party, but yeah, there he, was you know, you know, we go by Frank, not Frank Ocean, yeah, yeah, yeah. first name basis. Well, you already said his last name, anyways. He, he said Oshi. We don't that, fuck with him anymore, right? Yeah, he ruined Coachella. Wait, do you also not fuck with him? When he walked in, it was literally in slow motion, like a movie. Oh, what Brad Pitt. Yeah, he just doesn't age. He's like, okay, oh. so Brad Pitt and Frank Ocean, they're friends. And then, he, and then yeah, okay. Yeah. So do you not like Frank Ocean? Uh, just like no the rest comment, of No comment, no comment. Okay, no comment. That means he doesn't like it. He can't say it in public. When no, they I say no comment, comment I already know the answer. I'm his manager. I'm not going to. Oh. Fuck that guy. I'm going to slip a peanut in your bag. Oh. <laughs> uh, I would never two? do that. Only two. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you said you you guys said Nick. Well, I'm trying to think of someone who yeah, obviously think isn't of like, like A-listers, like some man. Any, crush. but literally. Why? Oh, you said I'm not A-lister. You're not. 
You're like an F I didn't say that. No, I Anyways, am. Okay, so what about you, Nick? Who, who did you say? Brian Reynolds. You said Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, okay. Yeah. Is that genuine or is that just because it's like the guy thing? Though? Dude, I was on Ryan Reynolds' dick before it became popular. <laughs> that man is so funny and handsome and good looking. It is crazy. I was, I was me. People are dick before. riding it after I first <laughs> dick riding it. You were like, you were like <laughs> nine. You, huh? you were like nine when he became popular. Nah, I was like 14, 15. Oh, Kyrie Irving. <laughs> Nah, he's a flat earther. Because he's literally crazy. <laughs> Wait, is and that the most talented basketball, basketball player, player of all time? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I don't know anyone like that plays sport. He just what are y'all's thoughts on Pete Davidson? Oh, Donnie Yen. Yeah, no, 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 not Who? Pete Davidson. Why? Goofy looking. Donnie Yen. Nice. Oh, he's not funny it man? either. It he's man? so funny. I think Theo Vaughn is hilarious. Like Theo Vaughn, just from how much he makes me laugh, would maybe be up there. <gasps> Matt Reif, he's super hot. I knew you, I literally was thinking of that man right now. He's super hot. Mm. Uh-huh. I bet you who we could get him on. Matt Reif? Yeah, yeah we probably possibly, could. Yeah. Get him on. I, I, I know, I know one time, of his boys. So. Question, I'm did he just blow up? Because I only recently saw him like- Maybe last he used to be, year. He used, he, really wild, he used to be on Wild Now. Yeah. Yeah. He was he not was as hot was on Wild Now. And then he got explosive because He grabs Zendaya's face, never forget. Wait, what do you mean? When they were on that Wild Now episode or whatever, they were doing like a try to make Zendaya spit like water out thing. And then all the guys were like, whatever, make your laugh. And then he goes up and is like, come on, laugh for me or some shit. And like grabbed her face. And then everyone was like, yo, yo, chill. Oh. Yeah. And this is when she was young too. I think she was like 17 or 18 at the oh. time or something. Or 19. Young though. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Okay. Scary. Well, I see, I see. Let me take it back then. <laughs> hey, we still I- love to have you on though, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come on the show. <laughs> I'm going to talk to boy. Boy. <laughs> Boy. Hey, you got one or what? I'm thinking. Like I said, Donnie nobody... Yen. Oh, CR7. That's my biggest man crush. Mm. Who? Absolutely. Cristiano Ronaldo. Take away his soccer abilities. That's one of the hottest men in the world. Big facts. I think he used to be. Well, that's he what I'm saying. He's had, he a lot of, he's had a lot of, you know, like. Know. I'm saying in his prime. I mean, we, we, we would have Neymar? to say woman crushes. I would, I would never let Messi's fucking midget ass <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Yo. Jesus Christ. I said what I said. Oh, son. Son, 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 son stood, Ming, son from Tottenham. Yeah. I'll let him hit. I'll let him hit. Love, son. Yeah. Just because I know he'll be smiling the whole time. <laughs> Henry Cavill in the Witcher costume. Yes, oh, Henry Cavill. There we go. Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill, Cavill, Henry Cavill. I'll give you Henry Cavill. Witcher costume. Specifically in the Witcher. Yo, yeah. what's her name in the blonde? In the in blonde. blonde, you know what I'm talking about. Dragons, blonde, Daenerys oh, Targaryen. Daenerys. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God! Well, but that's a woman. That's a woman. That's a woman. I know, but Jon Snow. I had to get it. Jon Snow. I'd let him hit. Kate, uh, Kate, Her- Kate Harrington. Harrington. I'd let him hit. <laughs> uh, who else about letting beat it up? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you you yeah, you've hit enough. Let enough men beat it up. <laughs> oh, Central C. Oh, oh yeah, definitely Central yeah, C. Yeah, 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 what is yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gorgeous. He's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't know anybody. How the, can I be homophobic? No, my uh, bitch is gay. Would you guys That's let the um, version? How can I be gay? gay? My bitch is homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> would you guys let Drake hit? Nah. 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 I feel like I'd fuck him. Mm, yeah. Because yeah. I've talked to some guys who have told me they would do it just so they could say that it, like, they okay. were hit by Well, actually. That's so Them and everybody else. He's a thought. Drake, I'm from your home. I would never say negative things about you. <laughs> Invite me to your house. I live close by. Would you let Drake hit? Just talk to Cece. Um, <laughs> um, no, I've heard stories. What about The weekend? He's from your... Yeah. You Not know, I've been to the clubs with them. I've seen them at the clubs. It's but but there's a lot of things Oh, that are now going after I saw The Idol, I'm not going to lie to you, Weekend, you kind of... Um, What's The Idol? Even was he's playing the, a was role? it fire? No, but there's a lot of things going around that he ever. and he says it in his songs as well. If you really listen to the lyrics, hey, he just be, be careful. We don't want to ask no, know, we, another situation. It's not. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just saying this is just a thing that people say on TikTok and everywhere. I'm just giving them what I've seen. There's just been. Some, I have no opinions about him. Mm. There's just been some controversy around him yeah, and yeah. his producing on the idol, mm. and um, the exploitation that he potentially could have hypothetically done with mm. some of his exes and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, you know, some of the plot lines are a little. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. What's your girl crush other than Taylor Swift? <laughs> no, Taylor's actually not one of my girl crushes. Oh, is she- I just love her. Yeah. Oh, but okay. I think my number one girl crush is Lisa from Blackpink. Mm. Especially after yes. Coachella, seeing her at Coachella. Mm-hmm. That's not Jenny, by the way. You're no, getting I know. Yes. I like both of them. Did you see at Coachella? Weren't they so, so fun? Oh my god! Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, wow. That was I will memorized. say mainly those two. Like the other two are hot, obviously. Like they're superstars, but like Lisa Lisa's, and Jenny are next level. Lisa's energy is where it's at. She just like carries herself in this way. It's like she walks around the stage and you can't help but like stare at her she's kind of the cool one out of the four she's She's so cool she's gonna be the star once they break up she's the edgiest oh Zayn Malik 
Oh, true. Oh, yeah? What? You got so excited to say that. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I let him crush my cheeks. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> I think my girl okay. crush is Doja Cat. She's a little weird, but I like her a lot. I heard she's nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's gotten off the deep end. Yeah. Though, so. yeah. I mean, but she, she, she's so good but at everything. I think Zendaya is also just like an easy one that she, okay, she was one. That was my Ryan Reynolds. That was my, I thought she was cool. I thought she was really pretty and stuff, but like shake it up days. I was obsessed with her. Really? Sha- obsessed. I thought she was like the prettiest girl I've ever seen in my life. Really? And then? My bad, my bad. Yeah. No, uh, okay. That's it. And then now suddenly everybody loves Zendaya. Oh, I thought I she grew first. up like after she got out of Disney. Oh, Tom Holland. Yeah, but even on. Claiming Ryan Reynolds, claiming Zendaya. No, I actually have like read receipts of me like on Ryan Reynolds' dick. Read before. Reds. Yeah. I have Red Instagram posts from 2014 of me posting Same fucking Zendaya. thing. Red it's really read. not. Read Ryan receipts. comes out of the closet. I confirmed this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Edward, Edward, Edward. He's like, Edward. Nick rode my meat oh. first. Oh. Edward. <laughs> do, do, do guys ever have intrusive gay thoughts where you imagine the scenario? If not, you intrusive. Ah. not intrusive. Not <laughs> intrusive. <laughs> <laughs> like, you never with your homie and you're like, yo, what if I just. Absolutely. I just do it. No, <laughs> no you don't. I, 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 I think about right that now. all the time, but not for a sexual reason. No, it's always sexual. Why do you think about it then? It's just because I want to see how awkward like a room can get. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That's low key facts. Sometimes I'll be thinking about how awkward I can make the room. Yeah. Just to just like for the shits and giggles. Audience, boy, do we have a treat for you. Today, Vid and Wu Talk will be demonstrating. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. I wonder what Nick. Oh, oh, Vid and Nick. I will never come back onto this Nick, podcast Nick, again. Have you ever? Have you ever kissed them? Gasp right there. Also, have you, will never have you ever come back onto this podcast his, again. His, his world just like melted in front of his eyes. Well, you guys already you done it. <laughs> you guys are already already done it. It's not fun kiss? anymore. Who? Who? Me and Nick? Yeah. No, I don't think so. He won't let me. No, hell nah. Uh, he forced me to when he did it to me. Yeah, it was a surprise attack. Yeah. <laughs> Loki, I should be locked up. <laughs> <laughs> This is the last one, guys, yeah. before we end. Yeah, so we got to get going. Now. List your guilty you... pleasure songs that you may get made fun of. Oh, I listen Boyfriend, to Boyfriend, Big lot. Time Rush. Nah, um, that's cool. If we're ta- is it Bodies by Tuve Lo? Or if we're Top talking about Tuve Lo? Tuve Lo. Tuve Lo. Period. Tuve Lo. Yeah. Tuve Lo. yeah. 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 Tuve Lo. yeah. Be- Beauty and a Beat, Justin Bieber. Oh, fire, fire, fire. Uh, but the acoustic uh, version. What's that <laughs> Olivia acoustic. Rodrigo song? Driver's oh. License, All Good I Want. for you? Um, no. no. Driver's, driver's License. license? Slapper, all I Want. License? No, no, no. It's the other one. What? How do you not like Brutal? All I Want? Not I mean, the whole out, the whole first album was yeah, just well, all yeah, I I want pocket, it. pocket full of sunshine. No, I can't. Oh, it's, no, it's, it's like right the here. first. It's like the first song on the on the first album. You're thinking about all I want. No, 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 no. It's like a hard one. It's like a pop punk banger. Oh, thanks, Queen. From the start by Laufey. Yeet oh, and Mariah Carey remix. Fire. Fire. What about you guys? I'm gonna be bumping that shit in the car. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Meg the, the, Meg the like, Stallion, Freak Nasty. Oh, absolutely not. Ew. <laughs> brutal. Freak, Olivia Rodrigo. Freak oh, nasty. Brutal? I said yeah. that. I what is Brutal? That, that one's a slapper. Uh, God, doink, it's Brutal doink, out doink, here. Doink. Dun, 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 dun. I don't, Cocoa I'm so Butter Kisses, Chance the Rapper. That die nah, that's still that's good. That's fire. Yeah, she's yeah. gas. She's gas. Hey, did you see uh, Rob oh, Rave sampled Morgan Wallen? Did it get popular on TikTok? Oh, I gotta listen to that. Oh, I don't know. We gotta go. Oh, guys. That was the end of the episode. Thank you for watching once again. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, follow us on Fan House. And go get Nectar in store. Help us out. They're get already the following flavors. They're Fan really House. yummy. Oh, this, yeah. this is oh, not no, the Fan no. House oh, episode. Not- <gasps> Silly Goose. Subscribe to the Fan House. We just dropped an extra episode with them too. Already on it. They're on it as well. Extra episode. Subscribe. Unique Asian flavors with no weird oh, aftertaste. It might be on Patreon by this hey, time, but you'll see you the link. Um. My YouTube and TikTok, please. Well, yeah. Check it out. Y'all, y'all, already know. y'all already know who I am. Do your thing. <laughs> yeah. Just a random from the sky TikTok. <laughs> bye bye. So good with the beard. Peace out, y'all. Peace out. <laughs> hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, 
Drink Nectar, Nectar Hard, Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you.